We're live. Thanks so much for joining us tonight and welcome to The Blunder Games. This is the guest battle royale one shot that was unlocked by you for our Legend of Vox Machina Kickstarter campaign. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Hi. I'm Sam Hi. Regal. Welcome. <laughs> tonight, we have five guest players that have come back to face off in a D&D player versus player smackdown. Let's go around the room and say hi, uh, starting over here. Uh, please introduce yourself and your character, Hello. young miss. Hello. Thank you so much. I'm Sumali Montano, and I am playing as Neela. Oh, you have to think about it for a second. No, no. Okay. The furball druid. Awesome. I'm Will Friedle, and I will be playing Cash Vesh. I've heard of him. All right. So excited. My name goes like this, Darren DePaul, and I am portraying the gnome hermit, Sprig, who I first played 40 years ago <laughs> with a certain uh, mother of a certain young man. Wow. I, th I know what you mean, but the audience that now thinks you're super Matt weird. Matt Mercer's okay, mother. Cool. Before he was born, I played <laughs> the, with this character. <laughs> so there we go. Right <laughs> Love that story. Andy? Uh, yeah, hi, I am Indy, and I am playing Tova, the blood hunter werebear. Nice, exciting. Yeah. Anjali? Hello, I am Anjali Bamani, and I am playing Fjerarai, the fire genasi monk in high heeled boots. Ooh, high heels. I didn't know that. Disadvantage on everything. Um, <laughs> She's very nimble. Sure, sure. Who has Emma? Um, now, before we get started tonight, I am going to throw to future Sam who has some exciting announcements to make. Oh, so, no. future me, please take it away. Why, thanks, past Sam. Oh, you were a sweet, dumb summer child back then. And thank you to all of you wonderful Kickstarter backers who unlocked this great guest battle royale and made our animated series a reality that premieres January 28th. That's midnight tonight if you're watching live on Twitch, or if you're watching this on VOD, it's already out. So go, get your Amazon Prime Video account ready and join us for an amazing ride. We have a few additional announcements about how you can watch along with us. Both of these require Prime Video, so make sure you, that your account is ready to go or steal a friend's. On January 28th, that's tomorrow, at 5 p.m., the Critical Role cast and our friends at Fanology PV will use Twitter Spaces to host a watch party of the first three episodes, with the pre-event opening up at 4.30 p.m. Pacific. Then, every Tuesday during February at 7 p.m. Pacific, we're gonna host our own watch parties of the newly released episodes over on our Twitch channel using Twitch's Watch Parties feature. It's cool. These will be truly live watch-alongs with a handful of cast members, special guests who worked on the series, and moderator, Mika Burton. So uh, following each episode, we're gonna have a Q&A. For more information about our watch parties, check out our article on critroll.com. Be sure to keep an eye on our Twitter and Facebook pages for more information on everything to do with the legend of Vox Machina. Now, before we get on with the show, I have one very important message for my past self. Past self, do not wear this wig. Past Sam, I repeat, do not wear it. It, it won't come off. It's been on for, for weeks, I'm begging you. I think it whispers to me at night. Please remove it. Take it off immediately be before it becomes symbiotic. Please. Well, thanks, future me. <laughs> and that's really interesting to know about the robot armies. Anyway, without further ado, let's jump into tonight. Are you guys ready? Everybody? Uh, we think sure. So. Okay. <laughs> so then, without further ado, let's jump into tonight's guest battle royale of the Blunder Games. We're back. 
Hi, everybody. Hey. Hi, Sam. Um, now, before we jump into everything, just a few caveats. I haven't GM'd a game on our channel in several years, so I'm going to suck. <laughs> Some uh, other caveats. Some of us haven't so played a game. So so um, we haven't played game. in just a few months, also, and we still don't know what we're doing. We're gonna <laughs> yeah. do great. Also, uh, I'd, I've never really bothered to learn the rules of, of D and D, so if I get some wrong tonight. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, deal with it. Yeah, deal with it. But we're here to have fun, and I, I hope you do. And if you're not having fun, please leave. Okay, here we go. I'll set the mood for you. Oh, oh, oh! I got, I got buttons I can press <laughs> over here. Okay. Uh, wow, what's this? Fancy with buttons. I'll do this. He's gonna reject one of us. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do this. Okay. 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 Something's gonna happen. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see the dim red light even before you open your eyes. And when you do, you find yourself in a tight space you can't make out where exactly. You look down, your weapons and armor, they're gone, and have been replaced with color-coded bodysuits and strange collars around your neck with shimmering green gemstones lodged in the center. You tug on the center of the collar, the collar won't move, it doesn't budge. As you slowly come to your senses, you realize you're in a clear cylinder, a tube, inside a strange clockwork dome structure. A shimmering holographic image, six stories tall, appears in the sky above. As it comes into focus, you see a devilishly handsome man with quaffed purple hair and a finely manicured purple beard adorned in golden attire. If you had to guess, you'd think this man can't be older than 29. <laughs> His perfect face seems to stare right at you, and it is smiling. He says, Good evening, Exandria, and welcome to the 69th season of The Plunder Games, brought to you by Garrington Corporation. I am, uh, of course, Gary and Garrington, universally beloved artificer, GEO of Garrington Corp. That's the Gary executive officer, executive producer of The Plunder Games, and your host for an evening of chaos, contests and carnage. Don't touch the dial on your scryo glass because we are just getting started. A strange hissing noise hits your ears, but then you realize it's not hissing, it's applause. And it's coming from everywhere. You can't see the audience, but they are on the edge of their seats. The man continues. Grody, take this down. Roll that intro, Grody appears. Grody is a sleek automaton, a robot, with a large G emblazoned in brass across its chest. He rolls into view onto the large hologram window. He raises a hand, which magically wipes to a series of images on the hollow screen, accompanied by sounds, music, dramatic lighting. Some would say it resembles an intro video package. <laughs> You hear Grody's deep, masculine narrator voice narrate. By the way, my voice is not masculine, so you'll have to use your uh, uh, imaginations here. <clears throat> Garion Garrington, master artificer, genius producer, and total dilf, discover the secret behind interdimensional travel. Humbled by this world-shaking discovery, he did what any sane person would do. He used it to broadcast a reality show. Every week, Gary and Garrington travels to a different alternate version of Exandria and plunders five random badasses with compelling backstories, <laughs> traps them in a deadly demiplane, and compels them to fight to the death for your entertainment. You see images of the crowd going wild. The winner gets to activate the Fulcrum Paradox, a device so powerful it can alter the fabric of reality by granting its wielder a wish you see a shining golden box with a prominent red button in the middle. You can give yourself unlimited wealth, return a loved one from the dead, turn your arch nemesis into a harmless tortoise, and watch them wander for hundreds of years in shelled purgatory. Garion cuts in, that really happened once. Past champions include the motor mouth mistress of mayhem, Lyra of the Slayer's Take, the lusty Lothario of libido, Scanlan Shorthalt, and our cutie pie kobold kook spurt. You see images of each of the past champions, but who will win tonight? And how will they change their reality? Find out in this episode of The Plunder Games. The music crescendos, explosions of arcane fire erupt, and the logo for The Plunder Games appears in a shining illusion. However, 
The illusion seems to have a typo. It spells the blunder games instead. Damn it, Grody, I told you to fix that. Never mind. Let's meet the contestants. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, Gary and uh, Q's an intro package, um, transitioning to uh, to uh, <laughs> to an intro of each character that we're going to meet tonight. And uh, I would love I would love it. Uh, I could describe what what the audience is seeing, but you you all know your characters so well, so much better than I do. I would love it if you if we could go around the horn and you could introduce your characters uh, visually, with audio, with music, however you you feel uh, your your character should be introduced to the audience. Um, it could be short, it could be long, wh whatever you think the audience would uh, be shown to get to know your character. And we'll start with you, <laughs> Simone, if that's all right. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Um, my intro video starts with a huge bolt of lightning. <laughs> and afterwards, <laughs> the screen is filled with beautiful autumn colored leaves falling. And through the curtain of leaves walks this like seven foot tall fur bulk, slowly coming through, walking out, looking at everybody. Wow. And out of a feeling of a bit of nervousness, she grabs this bag by her side. She takes a big whiff. <laughs> oh, this is out. her smell bag. <laughs> her smell bag that guides her into what to do next. She takes a moment. She reaches into the smell bag, reaches, finds some seeds, tosses them in front of her, and boom, these gorgeous, beautiful flowers bloom, and all of a sudden, the stinkiness of the flowers fills the room, and it's their big, stinky, smelly corpse flowers. But she just embraces them. They're so beautiful to her. And she looks up at the crowd and says, new friends. It's wonderful to be here. And then the, uh, the word Neela splashes across the screen and erupts in flames and the crowd goes <laughs> wild, amazing. Could you roll a charisma check for me? Oh, yes. <gasps> yeah, it's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's like, I'm gonna choose my big D20. <laughs> uh-huh. 10 plus, plus. Oh. Oh, oh, everything went, everything went crazy. Okay, okay, it's My fine, technology. Wait, charisma, plus two. 12. Twelve. The crowd goes pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> decently, decently wild. Like, I mean, some people would call it wild. <laughs> Accountants would call it wild. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, the screen wipes. There's a dissolve of, uh, of smoke and, uh, and steam, and then we see... So there's this pumping music, okay. and Cash Vesh walks out, looking around, and everywhere he looks, the camera isn't on him. So he tries to look, and the camera's over here. <laughs> he tries to look again, and now it's over here. He can never catch it until he goes, what the actual fuck? <laughs> and the camera just keeps moving around. He's, knock it off! And he spears the camera, and everything goes black. <laughs> <laughs> the graphics pa package wipes. The crowd doesn't know how to respond. Go ahead and roll a charisma check. Alrighty. Oh my God. 18. 18! <laughs> Plus anything? Well, no, because it was a 19, but he is a minus one charisma. Amazing. The crowd has never seen anything like it. They stand up on their feet. They loved it. It was so short and sweet, and they can get straight to the games. They loved it. <laughs> The word Kashaw wipes across the screen and leads us to Sprig. He's Sprig, he's a gnome, he's a hermit who is home alone by himself. He doesn't think that this is real, but hey folks, it's no big deal. I never should have licked that imp. No, no, I never should have licked that imp. Don't simp, I never should have licked that imp. He's Sprig. Oh. <laughs> This time, the graphics that say the name uh, Sprig look like they're in Comic Sans, <laughs> and, they, and they sort of dance across the screen. Go ahead and roll a charisma check. Okay. It's adorable. That's family friendly. 
Uh, it's a it's a it's a ten. Oh, that's that's very lovely. The the younger folks in the audience really <laughs> loved it. <laughs> You've got the the kids on your side for sure. Of course, none of this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next up, the, the graphics package wipes again and takes us into Tova's world. What do we see? All right, and, and Tova's kind of standing there, like looking strong, and the, the camera is like turning around her. It's kind of like an upshot. It's really cool and powerful. Yes. The voiceover goes, It's Tova. She doesn't have a song. She was <laughs> there that one time when they all turned into bats. That was pretty weird. After that, she kind of died and then didn't die, and then briefly led a coalition of sexy bears. She's been through a lot, so I guess she's here to do it again. <laughs> and then Toba turns into a bear, Ooh. looking kind of confused, but trying to look badass. Amazing, I love it. Roll for a charisma oh, check. <laughs> Oh, a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. There's some, there's a couple of shots of uh, of people in the crowd not quite knowing what to make. They they were on board with a lot of it, but then when when the bear thing happened, so they they weren't sure if this was the same person or not. It was it was uh, you know they put one of their B editors on this one, so it was it just didn't it didn't click together uh, quite as well. But still, a, a, a sound performance. Um, the the the, the, uh, the text wipes us again, and we are at Fiera. Hmm, okay, um, the screen goes black, and Ooh. then two um, um, f giant flame machines from the side, <laughs> like a KISS concert, go <laughs> and she yes, pyrotechnics! And through it you see, like, just fire in the form of hair and, a bl and a, like a black figure moving forward, and then as she comes into the light between the two, uh, you see her features, very sharp, dark features and glowing eyes. She reaches behind her back and she pulls out a small uh, stick, snaps it, it expands into Ooh. a full length okay. uh, uh, bow stick. She swings it behind her, uh, her back, holds it here, and she looks up around her, even though she can't see the audience, she looks up with her eyes, they're now flaming and she is not happy. And she looks up and she says, whoever is here, I am Fiera Rai. And whether I live or die today, I do not do it for you. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> Big text on screen. Let's roll to see how it was received. I am using new Fiera Rai dice from oh, my friend so Fireball weird. Dice. Let's see how they roll. All right, all right. <laughs> this is a great idea. This, that was such a brilliant idea. I'm so glad I uh, alienated the audience to begin with. Okay, okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That is a 17. They, wow. they seem to respond to the serious stuff tonight. The crowd right. is, is bloodthirsty, and they loved your intensity, and they are, they're, they're clapping in sort of a rhythmic way now, getting ready for the match to begin. Fantastic job, all of you. Uh, Garion comes out, oh, amazing work, all of our contestants. Now, in a moment, you'll be released from your G Corp temporal emergency evacuation tubes, a.k.a. Teats, and the games will begin. When only one of you remains alive, the game ends, and the winner shall receive one wish and a Garrington Corp dual action cleansing and gleaming stone. Make your armor gleam and clean like a dream. Uh, a sparkling sp stone appears hovering midair, but it's just holographic. Suds of soap fall from it. Uh, Grody, the, the robot, holds up an hourglass with purple sand inside. Garion says, if no winner is de declared by the time this hourglass is empty, and he turns it over, don't worry, we have more time than this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the dem uh, if no winner is declared by the time this is empty, the demiplane will close and no one gets a damned thing. At the end of the battle, everyone will be returned to their proper dimension and timeline, alive, pinky swear, with no memory of this ever happening. There are no rules against alliances, but there can only be one winner. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Now we're almost ready to begin, but before we do, in a flash, Garion appears beside all of you, sort of in the middle, holding a canvas and wire hand horn contraption, almost like a primitive microphone. A weird crimson imp hovers in front of him, working a pink orb, a scryoscope, holding it like a camera. The imp says, hey. Garion quickly says to you, 
Hi there, everybody. You know, we do like to do these ringside chats before, uh, before we start to gin up support from the fans. So when that orb lights up, try to, you know, sell it, okay? All right, Lestat, let's roll. The imp's orb lights up. And Gary says, I'm standing ringside with our contenders for a little flash poll. Our fans want to know, who do you think will die first tonight? Let's start over here with you, young lady. Perhaps it will be you. Intense, I like I it. I like her. <laughs> One vote for me. Tova, how about you? I'm, I'm saying what she said. Garion. All right, that's two. I like my name being said. Sprig, how about you? There is no death, only love. Hello. Oh, may I ask a question? Uh, of course, go ahead. That was it. That was the question. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, little man. How about you, Kashaw? That fucking guy's going first. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be last, though. I like the intensity. I, I'd like you to try as well. Uh, <laughs> Neela, how about you? I, um, I think I might die first. Oh. <laughs> oh, have a little bit more confidence than that. Okay. No, but, but really, try to keep it peppy. We're yes, still early yes, in the yes. show. Yes. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> you are brave and strong and introduced us to wonderful plants. You've won already. She's a huffer. What do you think's gonna happen? She's over here huffing paint. She's not gonna last. Yeah, do you still have that bag with you? Can I, like, get some of that? Sure. Oh, sure. thanks. I appreciate it. I, I like you. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious me. <laughs> I feel like a little flibberty gibbet. <laughs> okay. That guy first. <laughs> well, it seems that there is a split decision on who you all think will die first. Many of you think it will be me, but <clears throat> I'd like to uh, throw this next part of our little tournament back to you. So let's say, Neela, to give you a little bit more confidence, I'm going to let you choose tonight's terrain. Would that be all right with you? Okay. All right, here's your choices. It can be anything that our, uh, our, uh, our, our gizmos can make, but here's the three that we have prepared. You can choose the terrain of a spooky jungle where feisty animals sleep or a coastal playground where sharks roam the deep, or an active volcano where the air is hot as bleep. What's your answer? A jungle, a coastline, or a volcano. volcano. Gotta go with volcano. Volcano, is that your final answer? No, I'll check my smell bag. <laughs> Volcano it is. Volcano it is. As you make your decision, Garion points up to a hovering disc, a floating uh, platform, like a control tower of sorts, levitating about 60 feet above the space. He winks at the imps up there, who all wear small headset devices that seem to communicate with each other. One turns a dial on a clockwork device, and suddenly the ground begins to shift and stretch around you, manifesting a brand new terrain, which I will go get right Ooh. now. Oh my God. Oh, what a time. Excellent. Good now, oh, good you know choice. what? Good it choice. was literally the smell bag told me. You know what I want that to be? I want I when he I want us to, I want him to come back with you know when you were in grade school and you had to make like the volcano yeah. with the soda oh, the thing fake like baking soda and Yeah, fake baking soda oh. and vinegar. Can we have one of those, please? Please, please. <laughs> Although I did I did just table. alienate the host. I so I'll be right there. I should have chosen the jungle. But I went with Volcano, because how can you not? I know, that's pretty exciting. I feel like you're getting like your ideal terrain right here. I can't get comfortable with my knees. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 no. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Oh, God. Oh, please don't let me drop it. Don't let me drop it. Don't throw your bag out. You shouldn't move anything with your bad back. Wow. There you go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, I think it was like this. Okay. I really well, hope it looks right. Okay, so cool. Like that looks like that you want to see the other two now? Yeah, oh, it was like a Totally, I was like, I wonder what the other one looks like. It's queso, Dan. Is that the right placement? Okay, good, good, good. Awesome. As the dust settles, oh, I need to put you guys out there, too. As the dust settles, something rises up in the center of the arena. Here, I will I will first show you where you all are. You're all in these tubes. Scattered about. This is Neela, right here. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Uh -huh. um, here's Cash. Actually, she might be a little. Uh, 
let's just say right there. Uh, cool. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I can't <laughs> fit you on there. Here's Spriggy Pants right here. Yeah. Tova. Look how cute he is. And Piana. Let's put you right, so cool. right here. Okay, uh, and you have tubes on you. Um, at the moment. Oh god, so they don't do spears. Those spears you don't spears. You weapons. Make, you know? <laughs> All right, you'll just have to use your imagination. God damn it. <laughs> um, uh, something rises up in the center of the arena, 30 feet from, uh, approximately 30 feet from everybody's starting tube. It's a massive cache of weapons, armor, and magical items. Garion announces, say hello to the smorgasbord. You may have noticed that all of your weapons, armor, items, and underwear are missing. That's because Grody stole them. He is Grody. Um, but don't worry, they're hidden inside this pile of goodies, the smorgasbord, alongside a menagerie of other high-quality G Corp magical products. So yes, you could look for that old basic spear of yours, but why not try something new, like Garrington Corp's battle axe of badassery, or the patented rod that no one can move but you, or sample some of our potions of wellness, now in flavors like cappuccino cataclysm, mango tongue slap, and my personal f favorite, apple as fuck. Now, did I mention that G Corp's patented auto-tune technology allows for all of these magical items to be attuned in just one bonus action? Yeah! <laughs> also, hint, hint, I urge you to check out the smorgasbord soon, because like any deal, it's not gonna last for long. All right, anyone have any last words before we begin? <laughs> <laughs> well then, in that case, three. Two, one, let's begin. Roll for initiative, please. <laughs> oh my god, you are in time out ah, today. Natural 20. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that'd be, a, that'd be a five for me. Okay, uh, let's just, do just uh, 15 to 20 oh. first. Oh. That's, that's you, 20. Anyone else? No? Okay, uh, 10 to 15. 14. Oh boy, okay. <laughs> Nila with a 14, yes. Uh, uh, five to 10? Nine. Nine. Uh, who has Ooh. a higher dex? Uh, my dex is. 14 plus six, two? 16 plus three. All right. She does. Piera. So you're. Uh, you number one? And Cash no. with nine. And Tova, what did you get? Oh, I, I rolled a three. Awesome. <laughs> so that'd be a five total. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how this is going so far. <laughs> um, the uh, the tubes suddenly disappear from view and release you into the wild. You are sorry, microphone. You are about thirty feet away, even despite where I where I placed you. You're about thirty feet away from the center of this map, um, and you can. Do whatever you'd like. Um, Sprig, you are up first. Oh gosh, all heck. Now, I have a 25 foot walking, so can I walk 25? Uh, you're, yes, you can. I, you're, you're, you're 25 feet away then. I, I, oh. I would deliberately put everyone within oh, look, one round of, I, I of making I would uh, like to approach this wonderful cornucopia of, of cataclysmic coolness. All right, <laughs> here you go. Uh, I'll just move you up here. Let's see you just hop up there and you are Ooh. right at the cornucopia. Excellent. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, oh, you know what? Uh, yes. I, sh I should say, uh, it will help me a lot. If you, uh, you don't have anything on you right now. You don't have spell focuses, Correct. you don't have armor, you don't have weapons, you don't have any of your cool extra items that you've brought with you. Yes. Um, so it would help me a lot if you uh, sort of Tell me what you're looking for. Name maybe three things that you are looking for in this gigantic pile. You're seeing all kinds of stuff. There's wooden spoons, there's swords, there's axes, there's nunchucks, there's, but there's also different kinds of armor. Um, there's different kinds of magical items. There's all kinds of stuff. So you, tell me the three things that you are desperately trying to find. I would very much like to find some leather armor, okay. if I could. I would very much like to find components of arcane focus, mm -hmm. if I could. And if there is a wonderful, long wizard staff of some kind. A staff, a wizard staff. I would staff. enjoy that very much. All right, please roll for investigation, please. Sure. And what uh, is that a? D20 plus D20. an investigation on your abilities uh, chart there. Let's see. 
That's a 14, and oh, where would I find my investigation? Uh, I have inspiration. You have senses? Uh, it's plus four for you, sir. It's plus four. Um, so that is a, that's an, an 18. 18. Okay. So immediately, as you start digging through yes. the, the this pile of, of amazing stuff, yes. um, you immediately find your leather armor. For, for it's 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 right there at the top. If if you had planned it, you couldn't have planned it better than that. Uh, you you keep looking through um, and you find your spell components right away. Easy peasy. Um, you also find two other things, and I will need you to roll a d20 twice to see what you actually discover there. Ooh. Gracious me. That is a six. Okay. And that is a knot, and that is a 17. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. You also pull out of here um, a potion of premium wellness, uh, cappuccino cataclysm fav- uh, flavor, oh. and uh, a smile time wand patented by the G Corp. <laughs> Uh, if you point it at someone, really? it will make them smile. A genuine smile time wand? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, oh my goodness. Wow. I, I actually thought I would be looking for something like a velominor, which, to be serious, is something I just made up, but it sounded intriguing and unattainable, like world peace or a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Excellent. Um, with your <laughs> with your bonus action, you can actually attune to that uh, to that armor um, if you'd like. I'd certainly love All to. All right, so you are armored up. You got your your excellent. AC. Okay. And and you know, I'll look at whatever camera and say, "Hey, what time is it? Oh gosh, it's smile time." Wand. <laughs> The uh, the imp uh, who's holding the uh, the scryo the scryo vision that, that's uh, photographing right now, he's a union guy, mm. so it doesn't really uh, you know impress him too much. But you can see Garion up uh, up in his tower, which is floating oh. over <laughs> here. Wow! Um, Garion's loving that, loving it, loving the improvisation, and uh, he he pats another imp on the shoulder, saying, you know, "Get get closer to that guy." Um, great, great job, Neela. You are up um, to uh, to to move, act, whatever you would like to do. Oh, after that, I'd like to go to the cornucopia too. All right, it's a smorgasbord. We are not a getting sued tonight. Cornucopia smorgasbord, <laughs> uh, and um, I would love to find. Uh, oh yes, tell me a few things. My. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce it. I have a shillelagh. A shillelagh. A shillelagh. Yes, <laughs> I would like that. Okay. Um, the heaviest armor that I can uh, that I can move in and oh. match with. Okay, and so not just your your armor. Anything, well, anything sort of big. Yes. Great. And. Um, Ooh, that potion sounds good. Something, or is there? Can I there, ask? There for are also other. There's other kinds of weapons around. There's whips. There's great axes. There's, uh, there's, there's different magical items. There's. Uh, is there like a, a druidic focus? It, I'm sure there is. If you you just but have to look. Um, okay, uh, let's roll for an investigation and see if we we'll see what you got. Nice. Minus, but I think I have to minus one. Yes, minus That's all 14. right. You did very good. You quickly dig through and find your druidic focus uh, first. Um, do, you, do you have a specific druidic, druidic focus or? Please and be. And, and oh, it's uh, okay. I don't know. You find somebody else's then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it sounded good. It says uh, it, so. It's a uh, it's a it's a long wooden staff with a green gem at the end, and it says. Uh, if found, please return to Keyleth of the Ashari. <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, snap! That sounds right lovely. Uh, um, <laughs> next, you also find uh, find some armor. Um, let's see here. You are capable of finding, of donning, sorry, uh, leather armor, or you could do medium armor, too. Let me see what yes, you got. Yes, please. Um, here, I'll just roll to see what you get. Okay. You get, uh, you get, bloop, 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 if I can find it, you get some leather armor. Um, 
I can't find it on this thing. Oh, there it is, number 36. Wow, this is so well organized. Strip action plate armor. No, that's plate armor. Where's my, oh no, strip action uh, studded leather. It's, uh, Ooh, you, can, you can don and drop this over. Okay, here we go. There you go. Um, <laughs> and you get one extra item. Please roll a d20 to tell me what you get. Seventeen. Seventeen. Wait, isn't that what you got? Last time? I don't know. Like, got a six and a seventeen. You did get a seventeen. So I'm just going to add one to that and say that you get a grow and show potion. When you, <gasps> when you drink this potion, yeah. I get bigger. Don't do it, Angela. Uh, do it. You gain the enlarge effect uh, uh, for one d four minutes, so you can enlarge yourself. She's just biting your tongue one over there. <laughs> like till it bleeds. I know. My tongue is bleeding. I'm biting uh, so hard. The shalala was not found. Oh. No. <laughs> yet, yet. Um, uh, but that is the end of your turn. You can use your bonus action to attune to that armor if you'd like. Okay. Yes. Please. Okay. You auto tune to it. Great. Next up is Fiera. Oh boy. So I just book to the uh, smor smorgasbord. Sure. Sure. Thank you. I would like to find my uh, staff. Staff. Great. Um, I would like to find. Uh, my flask of alchemist's fire. Okay. And I would like to, how can I, can I search for like, what am I allowed to wear? Uh, can I search for like, can I tell if there's like magic jewelry or I, like can you tell if there's like magic items or like, sure, like, like light item. stuff that doesn't count as, Armor you mean or something weapons. protective that's not armor. Yeah, like something that seems magicy. Uh, just anything magicy. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Sure, like something sure. that seems like it something won't fuck with my magic. with my mojo. Okay, sure. <laughs> Go ahead and roll an investigation <laughs> check and like, let's see what you get. You better roll a twenty-two to get that thing. Natural two. Oh my god! Pew, pew, pew. Thank you, Firebolt. Um, okay, so, yeah. plus two for investigation. Correct. So, yeah. Yes. So you find lickety split. It's like your eyes in this environment can can sh focus sharper than than before. The staff easily found. The flask right underneath it, as if it was put there on purpose. A magicy item, I you say. Know. I don't know. Oh my hey, god. Just, this is a technical term. Stay out of my lane. No, no, no. <laughs> um, let's see what we got here. <laughs> <laughs> please oh, there's useful. all kinds of weird shit in here. Oh my <laughs> God. But I was mostly like I was saying. I was mostly looking for like sure. no, I, jewelry or easily donable. You, you not like get, a, not like a thing I have to hold. You get this item, which I won't even I tell. I, I won't even tell the others what it is. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking. And you get to roll another two times to see other random items. What? Because you got this natural twenty, okay. yo. Okay. That is a three. Join me. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and that is an 11. Okay, you also get this item. I don't even know what it is. And this choker of breathing. Wearing this necklace, you can breathe normally in any environment. That seems useful. Cool. Right. Maybe. Sure. We'll find out. Um, all right, that, that uh, ta oh, and would you like to use your bonus action to attune to I guess. Everything? That's it. Sure, yeah. You're <laughs> done. You did it. It worked. Yeah. Next up on the list is Kasha. I would like to join the smorgasbord if possible. All right. And if you could put me right next to her. All right. Just saying. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Just just saying. Mm. What um, would you like to be searching for? I would. I want my spear. You want, you've got to have my spear. spear. Yep. Um, I also want my holy symbol. Okay. And I'd like. Uh, Something a little heavier than leather armor and lighter than plate. Okay, this isn't. Hey, are you this, Gary this, Town this, or whatever? This, <laughs> this isn't a Marshalls here, all right? We, we'll do what we can. It's a Filene's basement from back east, okay? Um, go ahead and roll a d20. Tell me uh, this investigation roll. Uh, so it is a uh, 15. Oh, that's a great roll. All right. Um, Using uh, divine inspiration from your goddess uh, Vesh, Vesh, <laughs> yeah. right? Uh, you quickly find two items, easy peasy. The spear yes. you find, as well as your holy symbol. Yes. Vesh was almost whispering to you, "I'm here, find me." You also find one other random item. Please roll a d20 and tell me what you got. Twelve again. A Twelve. Uh, okay, you find G propellant. 
As an action, you can sprinkle this dust on yourself or another creature. Uh, the recipient gains a flying speed of 30 oh feet oh. for one minute. Holy yeah. shit, that's a wow. good one. <laughs> one whole minute. Oh, a flying cash oh, off. Oh, yeah. A flying speed of 30 feet, you no. say? I yes. assume you attuned to this. Uh, oh, wait, you didn't find your armor, did you? No, apparently not. Okay, well, you are armorless right now. Bummer. Um, right now. And then last but not least, the bear. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, I go up. Yes, you go up. Um, There's no other that, choice there. So that's plus my intelligence? Uh, this 15. is, this is a, uh, yes. It's, not, I don't have it's plus uh, investigation, which for you is plus nothing. However, plus nothing. when you look around for clues, make detection based on clues, you get advantage? Oh no, that's just when you're trying to find information about fey fiends. Well, uh, okay. So what did you roll? Sorry, say it again. Armors in there? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, <laughs> what did you roll? Uh, Fifteen. Okay. And what were you looking for? I would like the biggest, sickest sword slash axe slash anything. Mm -hmm. Just sure. Large. Large. <laughs> girthy. Big girthy. Maybe with like multiple. I don't know. Something cool. Surprise me. Okay. Uh, I want my my ring. Ring. Please. What's this ring? It's my ring of invisibility. Okay, okay. It's, yeah. more, it's more for, for sentimental value. Sure, sure, that, sure. That sure. Was in there? Mm. Um, any, anything else? Um, any armor? How about a potion? Potion. A healing slash anything else that might be cool. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, as you dig through, uh, you don't find a sword. Instead, you find, you find a um, an axe of badassery. Oh yes, oh, that it's a is plus exactly what I plus one to attack and damage rolls made with his weapon. Shit, yeah. You also find your ring of invisibility, which yes. is weird because it's invisible. I know. But you found <laughs> you find it by uh, it by smell. It's, it's my precious. <laughs> you just sort so of funny. hold out your hand and <laughs> it sucks on. Um, uh, and you may find a potion, but I'll need you to roll to see what kind of potion you find. Right. Roll a d20. That is a 16. All right, I'm going over here. So many cards. You guys, this is so fun already. <laughs> um, oh, you get, it's 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 called Ouchie Ointment. Oh. Uh, and it heals pretty well, actually. Oh, nice. Uh, it also cures poison. Yeah, I'm going to need that. Yeah. Uh, G Corp Ouchie Ointment. All right. Uh, uh, you also, let's see here. You Are we attuned to our stuff already, or do you we have to retune? instantly attune. OK. Um, because that's how this works. Okay. Um, you got your potion, you got your sword, you don't have your armor yet. It's fine. Okay. Um, all right, that concludes the end of round one. Um, you, you all sort of look down and notice that the, the floor underneath this smorgasbord is, is starting to change color. It's starting, starting to glow yellow, then a deeper orange, borderline red. It seems like it's emanating some heat, too. Nothing's happened yet, but it seems like it might soon. Uh, we're at the top of the round. Sprig, it's your turn. Congratulations, everyone. I, I haven't seen people in over 30 years. This is quite delightful. You all chose very well. I'm really, really excited. None of this is real. <laughs> uh, if I could, I am going to uh, 25 foot dash. Uh, over to where I can, the, to those rocks of lava behind me there. Over here? Yes, if I can. All right, uh, one, two, three, yeah. four, five. This is about as far as you can get. That's wonderful. All right. Exactly where I want to be. Okay, um, uh, you have dashed away. Would you like to uh, do anything? Uh, any action or? I just like to wave at everyone and go, uh, it's safer over here. You can join me if you like or not, your choice. Uh, Garion turns to uh, one of his imps in the control room and says, what is he doing? Why is he not attacking yet? Uh, all right, uh, that, that'll be the end of your turn. Neela, you're up. I would like to go where Sprig is. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, you're over here. It's gonna take, probably, oh. you'll have to use your dash to get there, uh, which is your action. Oh. Because um. it's probably 45, 50 feet to, to get all the way over there. I didn't realize I had dash, I could dash. You can use uh, your movement to move, I think it's 30 feet for you, and then yeah. you can move your use your action to dash another 30 feet if you'd like. I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> um, because you're climbing over the smorgasbord, uh, above lava, I might add, I'll have to uh, have you roll an acrobatics check to make sure. sure that you don't slip and fall. It's a... 
It's a four. Okay. <laughs> you slip and fall. <laughs> so you get you get it's about rocks, to here <laughs> when you step on uh, oh, no. you step on a uh, a weird uh, silvery fan. Um, the fan breaks under you, and you slip. Uh, I will say that you don't fall in the lava, but you are now. Uh, we'll we'll call you prone. And you are sort of hanging on over the edge of this little uh, this little footbridge here. Uh, that's as far as you get, and uh, y it's a precarious position. You you may fall unless good things happen soon. Oh no! And that's uh, you didn't use your action to dash yet, so you still have an action if you'd like. You can use it to stand up or right yourself, or you can cast a spell or do other things too. Um, I'm not sure. I have a spell that would get me out of that situation. Uh, I will make myself prone. Unprone. Unprone. Un sorry. Unprone yourself. So mm -hmm. you so you will stand back up. You're now sort of on the smorgasbord, uh, right next to Fiera, uh, and that'll be your turn. Unless you have a bonus action you'd like to do. Oh, do you know what I just realized? I am lucky. Oh. Oh. Oh, would you like to redo that uh, acrobatics check? I think I would. <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered. I just remembered. <laughs> I'm like, oh, like this. Uh, oh, thank you. you. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yes, indeed. Oh, and it's a three. <laughs> so oh. it didn't really help. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's, it's funny, on the screen above you, on the holographic screen, um, uh, everyone, the audience, uh, including uh, you guys, are watching uh, this happen, uh, uh, projected onto the big screen. You, you see Neela fall, and then you see it, the tape sort of rewind for a second, and she falls again. <laughs> it's, it's like an instant replay that they're just showing over and over again. The audience is howling with laughter. They love seeing it. They're playing it in reverse. It's like a boomerang. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, you're still sort of stuck in the same spot. Will that be the end of your turn? Yes. All right. Uh, Fiera Rai, okay. you're up. Question, mechanics question. Is getting, is is grabbing something else from the smorgasbord, smorgasbord an option? Yes. And if so, does it is it an action, a bonus action? You will use your action to search for uh, through the smorgasbord. If I was just like grab what's the first thing I see. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Is same that thing. still one? It's still one full action. It'll be an action to search, and then you can uh, use your movement to get out of there afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to search for a uh, healing potion. Oh, okay, give me an investigation check. 18 plus. That's really good. Eight, oh, that's not me, that's, wait a second, that is 18 plus two, so 20. 20 is a fantastic. Uh, you do find uh, a healing potion right away, first thing on the pile, um, which I will find for you somewhere. Um, you also find, go ahead and roll a d20 two more times to see what else you find. It's going to be loaded up. Eight. Fifteen. Okay. You also get a, a what's in your jug? <laughs> uh, don't, don't. I <laughs> say uh, It makes all kinds of liquids. Ooh. Check it out. It's exciting. <laughs> you guys, and, I'm so uh, glad this isn't a family You also find a hydro dumper. So I'll have liquid, and, and I can dump and it. You can get rid of the liquid. With the um, liquid. Uh, you, it's a, it's a it's a small flask, and a whole bunch of water can pour out of it. You're you're now set for any kind of liquid. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, you also find a bloop 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 bloop. bloop. Uh, there's a potion of wellness. There you go. Oh, wow. You found the apple is fuck flavor. Um, <clears throat> I do that, and as I'm about to move away, I see her down on the ground and I, you know, clock the the ground heating up. Can I, as my bonus action, give her a heft? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, and I'll say if you, are you going to be moving also? Ideally, yes. Okay, I, I'll say that you can, you can pull her half your movement. Boom, great. So I'm going to grab her and I have 40 movement, mm -hmm. so I'm going to grab her I'm gonna take her like ten feet top, just away from, just where, like away from, like here, away from melee of someone else, okay. if that's possible. Oh, away from melee. Well, one of you will probably be in melee with somebody else. I guess you could hop. Well, you're down gonna be in melee. With, no, no, that's okay. You could leave her with with Tova. 
Leave That's Toga, right? Yes. Yeah. And where would you and like to go? And then I would like to go. Uh, where's Where's Sprig? Sprig's down here behind this lava thing that you can't see. Um, I would like to go two away from Sprig if I can. Over here. Uh, over here. Over here. No, where you, the second one, right Over there. Here. Yep, yep. <laughs> right, right there at the foot of the bridge. Boom. Done. Great, great, uh, great turn. Uh, Keshaw, you're up. <sighs> okay. How far away am I from everybody? Uh, you're pretty far. You're about 25 feet from Tova, 30 from Neela, maybe 40, 45 feet from the others. Okay. <clears throat> I say we get this party started here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a third level Guiding Bolt. All right. And I think I'm going to cast it on Neela. No. Go ahead and roll. Um, let's see what that, do you roll? Is it a, is I it a melee? Think uh, I think I do. I, uh, a Flash of Light Street, I make a ranged spell attack. Oh wait, no, it just happens. I think um, I have to you have to roll to to say no no, no make I a ranged to, spell attack against yeah. the target. Okay, so go ahead and roll. So it's a d20, right? Yes, please. Yeah. And then add your three. Oh, we're doing so. But wait, then I get a. Uh, what's my? Um, what doesn't matter. My proficiency bonus would be plus three. Uh, no, your spell. Your spell. Uh, shit. Uh, your spell attack bonus is seven, so that would be a ten. Okay, so it's a ten. Is your AC higher than ten? Yes. It is. <laughs> All right. Uh, a, a bolt of radiant <laughs> energy uh, comes out of. Uh, Kashaw's hand, let's say, she streaks across over, uh, lighting up the smorgasbord uh, at, you were firing at Neela, right? Yes. Um, it, and it does uh, it does strike Neela, but she she manages to get Keyleth's staff up just in time to sort of knock it aside. Yes. The guiding bolt shoots wide, causing no damage. That's your action. What else would you like to do? Uh, now I'd like to nice. move. Move, which way? Where? Um, I'm gonna go away from everybody else. Okay. Because I can He's fly at one point. <laughs> uh, full movement? Yes. Or would you like to hop down? Yeah, okay. hop down, please. Hop down. All right, there so you I'm are. not not in. And then so that's one of my th third level spell slots. Yes, please mark it off. Yes. Any bonus actions, or are we good there? Uh, do I get a bonus action? Uh, if you have a bonus action, let's see. You have. You can cast spiritual weapon, but that would be another spell. So yep. no, you don't really have another. I didn't think so. Bonus it's action. not letting me take my slots off, so I will just write it here. On the um, I, 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 those who are looking up see uh, Gary and Garrington finally uh, relieved that there's some action happening, and uh, and he whispers to the imps uh, next to him, "Get cameras on that guy. Mm -hmm. He's he's giving us some good action. All right, all right. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it tight." Uh, next up is Tova. What would you like to do? Indeed? Um. So uh, the the the. The smorgas. Smorgas board <laughs> is holding for the moment. It's it's warming up, but it's not uh, it's not doing anything yet. Uh, I'm gonna try and grab a few more things while I'm here. Great. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. You fourteen. Fourteen is good. Plus oh. anything? Minus anything? No. Uh, no, just okay. Fourteen. You find your armor yes. straight off the bat, and why don't you roll to find one more rando thing? Fifteen. Fifteen. I think we found that item already. So we'll go to 14 instead. Ooh, you get the pow pearl. <laughs> uh, which lovely. might not help you very much. Uh, it, can, uh, it can help you regain a spell slot. I don't know if you're a spell oh, person. Yes. I'm not, but hey, if anyone wants to trade for a uh, uh, spell, I'll trade you. Really? Yeah, okay. Not not yet. Yeah. On your next turn, you can. <laughs> On your next turn, you can. Um, um, so as my bonus action, oh, can yes. I use my crimson right okay. to imbue my weapon with all that good blood hunter stuff? The blood. Blood. <laughs> but then it like catches on. It's it's a whole thing. All right. It's yeah, yeah, lightning yeah. sword. Of course okay. you can. Um, um, so I need to do. Refresh me. So, so you take damage when you do this, right? I, I slice my hand and okay. I grip wow. the axe of badassery mm -hmm. and I smear my my blood on it, taking three damage. Okay, mark that down. 
uh, and the blood uh, the blood sort of uh, coalesces around the the hilt, the handle of this uh, axe, and it sort of snakes its way up in a helix, uh, and then all of a sudden the blade of the axe starts shimmering with a little bit of a red glow. It seems yeah. more hefty than it was a second ago. Yes. All right. All right. Awesome. Would you like to move? Or are you uh, like, yeah, yeah. Get okay. off the part of the bridge that's about to explode or whatever. Uh, what? No, it's not going to explode. I mean, <laughs> uh, you've seen reality shows before, I guess. <laughs> um, all right. Where would you like to go? Hop off or yeah, walk hop down? Hop off. Hop off. Just do all a little right. hop. Uh, because you're a little, uh, can you just roll an acrobatics oh, check? Sure. Oh, wow. This is my best one yet. Boom. It's like a. 20. Oh, uh, easy jump. You yeah, make it look easy. Bad. Would you like to do some movement as well? Uh, get, get further away, or are you good right there? Um, No, I have a thing to my back. I think I think I'll, I'll hunker down for the moment. Okay, hunkering down. Uh, that takes us to the end of round two. Uh, the ground underneath the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the smorgasbord uh, heats up to an intense hot red heat, and then kablowie uh, is, uh, is, what you, is what you hear. Um, uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the remaining items that you haven't gotten uh, begin to sort of uh, shake and move, quake a little bit. Uh, they start to pile up on top of each other, coalescing as if drawn together by magnets, shifting and clicking until they form a crude humanoid figure. Oh no! Oh, no. That oh, sort rub of it, rub it. erupts from this space. Oh, so much stuff. Um, Ooh, big guy. It's a big. It's a big feller. Oh. Um, and uh, there is a, a, a small explosion that happens when uh, when this figure sort of erupts from the ground. Um, the only person, let's see here, is anyone real? We'll, we'll say that Tova and uh, Neela are still within range of getting some of this explosive damage, but because you're sort of far away, I'll, I'll say it's halved. Um, when this explosion happened, oh my god, I rolled so bad, you ah. take one point of fire damage. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Um, from the explosion. Yeah. Uh, and I cut uh, myself as part of my powers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this figure grows and transforms into this massive mecha suit sort of thing. Uh, Garion announces from the tower, contestants, I give you the Smorgasbot. It's an enormous machine with a wheel inside its chest divided into six slices, almost like a trivial pursuit pie. Um, each one with a, a different contender's name on it. Um, oh, no. oh, and then one, one of the oh, one of the boy. slots is left blank. Wow! Oh boy! The wop wop stands up. Does that, does that stand? Womp. Well, well, I'll just hold it for now. <laughs> wow, that's cool. That um, uh, and as uh, 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 as as he rises up. Um, uh, he looks at all of your faces with an intense uh, uh, yellow-eyed stare and uh, opens his his maw to say, "Hey." Let's have a real good show tonight, okay, guys? You, you, you really, come on, let's keep it active for the for the fans, okay? Sure thing, Womp Womp. <laughs> uh, I'll roll for his initiative. Show up he is. <laughs> it's okay. the Womp Womp show. Um, uh, let's see here. It's Spring's turn next. Um, uh, announcing from the control room, Garion says, "With your weapons acquired, it's time to begin the main event. Let the plunder get under." Way, what would you like to do next, Sprig? It is your turn. Uh, if I could run again, that twenty-five. You can, yes. Thank uh, which you. direction would you like to run? Towards you? Towards me? Towards me is lovely. Okay. You can get about there. That's wonderful. Is it possible to hold an action? You can. Well, you just have to declare what that action is. All right then. Uh, I have a. Uh, a a wand, the Smile Time wand, and I might use it. I would like to hold my action for that. All right, place. you're holding the Smile Time wand. Yes. Uh, what, what triggering event would cause you to use it? Well, uh, being attacked, of course. Being attacked, okay, yes. great, good to know. Um, next up, you see the little wheel on the Smorgasbot start to spin. Oh, oh let me do it a better spin. <laughs> Oh, all right. Is that down here or up here? I can't oh, I tell. Down. Let's say down. Be down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you can see the word, so the that's word how it should yeah. be. Yeah. 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 I don't know who Avot is. <laughs> the smorgasbot turns uh, with a murderous stare at Kashaw and starts stalking towards you. Uh, the smorgasbot. Let's go, man. Hmm. Oh, can man. climb all the way oh. next to you with a good moving speed. Hi. 
Uh, the Smorgasbot will take its turn um, raising its huge metallic arms and will strike not once but twice against you. Oh, come on! Uh, first roll to 17 to hit. Okay. What's your armor class? My AC is. Uh, where is my AC? Did you get fancy armor? 17. 17. Oh. Oh boy, I don't know d and I think that hits. <laughs> okay, I thought Ty goes to the player. I don't know, someone tell me. <laughs> did you, no, did meat, you, meat is meat. Did you pick meat? up fancy armor? No, I didn't oh, get my fancy armor. Fuck. You know what, since I didn't get my fancy armor, let's say that cool, it hits. Cool, cool, I like, thank you for helping me GM. <laughs> it, 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 I'm getting myself I killed. I it, it to it help it you, it. and you made it worse. Okay. I can't lie. Uh, Cash right. is a lot of things, he's not a liar. Fair. Oh shit, Name five dude. things he is. <laughs> uh, not a liar, not a liar, uh, not a liar. He liar. slams his, uh, his metallic elbow down on your shoulder, causing 13 points of damage. Oh, no. um, he's going to roll again to attack a second oh, time. No. This time he rolls a, what is it, a plus? Oh boy, that's real good. An 18 to hit. Okay. <laughs> This time rolled way worse. Five points of damage. So we're at 18, 18 total. 18 total. Okay. Yes, 18 points of damage. And he gets to cast a spell. Oh, come on! <laughs> what is this robot? What is this thing? Uh, he's, uh, he's a really good robot. <laughs> All right, 25 already. Um, let me just see. Right. By the way, I can read all the stuff on D on D and D Beyond, but nothing actually gets plugged in. Oh no, that's tragic. Me too. Yeah, Same with nothing, me. I can't I take my spell my... slots or my damage. Yeah. But we I still love D and D Beyond. Yeah, they, yeah. What is the range? Feet. Sixty feet. Okay. Seeing that as how you are bloodied and bruised from his attacks, he's going to focus. Let's see if I can do this. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. J just far enough, he's going to target uh, Neela this time. And oh wait, no, he rolled. He rolled Kasha. He's only going to focus on Kasha for this round. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to cast vicious mockery. Oh, um, uh, and he, uh, the, the little uh, uh, the little face and brain inside the uh, the middle of the robot says to you. Come on, man, at least make this look good for the audience. You're blowing it here. And as he says, says that, the words sort of uh, affect your, your very soul. Um, it's kind of just a shitty thing to say to someone in the middle of a game. You take two more points of damage. Oh, God. It's like the Iron Giant if he was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> that concludes. I am a guy. <laughs> oh, you can take a wisdom save uh, uh, to see if you take that damage. Oh, I can. Okay, yes. good. Um, That's good, because so my wisdom is very high because I'm a cleric. But not that time. <laughs> Uh, eight. No, that won't be enough. All right. Yeah, okay. It really I'm does affect you. Glue. <laughs> exactly. yeah. um, no, it's more like, ow! Neela, you are up. Uh, the cameras, uh, sorry, the scryometers <laughs> uh, all of a sudden surround you. Imps uh, imps focusing in on you. They're, they're all around, oh but they're, they're keeping their distance. Uh, Neela, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Neela. Oh, is this. this, this you can this do a quick like trade. I'll, I'll let oh, you do that please, for a bonus action. Oh. Oh, it's gone under, forever. Under. It's gone forever. I, okay, so ah. Neela is a little hot after that last attack. So it's a fight, dude. <laughs> um, I would like to ready, or do I want to cast? She's all in. I want to cast Call Lightning. Call Lightning. <laughs> All right, uh, gripping Keyleth's staff of power, you call to the heavens and uh, uh, a lightning sort of crackles. It's, there's no sky above you. It's, it's all sort of a, an enclosed Thunderdome, Thunderdome style arena, um, but uh, lightning starts to crackle on the, the support beams and posts that keep this, this place aloft. Um, and, it, and it sort of draws together right over your target, who is? Are they close enough? Can it? I want that guy. I, you're gonna target the robot? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just so you know, you knowing this as a, a, a magic practitioner, it will probably also affect uh, Kashaw. Well, you struck at me attacked. first. I did. I mean, it does make sense. Yes. Um, I'll just double check that to make sure, because I'm bad at I'm bad at D and D. They are not nice. Um, <laughs> no, each, you don't have to <laughs> creature within five feet. Yeah. yeah, each creature within five feet must make a dexterity saving throw. So okay. go ahead uh, and make that throw. What's your uh, spell DC, uh, Neela? Uh, I can look. It's a it's a fifteen. 15 so you have to roll yes. a fifteen dex to save out of this, sir. Come on, one good roll. 
Yes! Finally! 19. 19. Uh, power, oh, I've got a roll for the robot. He rolled a seven. Uh, a lightning streaks down from the sky, slamming into the smorgasbot, causing, please roll, I think it's 3d10. Yes. Okay, wait, oh my goodness, my d10 is this one, right? Oh my god, I have to look at my little key. Oh, I can't even believe I'm doing it. Wait, you're looking at a key to see which dice is the d10? Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I rolled three times, right? Yes, please. 11. 11 points of lightning damage hit the smorgasbot. <laughs> um, wait, wait. <laughs> He gets half damage. He does get half damage, correct. Hey, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> I remembered. My Even if I roll away. <laughs> the, yes, the the, uh, the lightning energy focuses mainly on the bot, but because he's made of uh, metal parts, it's very conductive and it sort of sprays out of him no. uh, in a radius. You're able to duck most of it, but some catches you in the, in the leg and shocks you for five points of damage, lightning damage. 18. Um, God, if only you had a healer close by. I know. <laughs> if only I was one. <laughs> um, that's going to be your action. You can still move and use a bonus. Oh, do you, you move, use your bonus action to trade? So you've got a movement if you'd oh, like. I would like to uh, go closer okay. to Sprig, please. Mm -hmm. Closer to Sprig. As close so as you hop down here. Boy, I don't know how opportunity attacks work. Um, as you run by Tova, you might get an opportunity to attack. I don't know, but probably not. Here you go. You make <laughs> <Okay>. all... <laughs> We're unclear you get, an opportunity you attacks. Got all, you get all the way to Sprig. Um, <laughs> uh, would you like to go right up next to Sprig? Is that is that right? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Um, that'll be your turn. Uh, next up in the order is Ferrari. Right. It's been hit. It's been hit. Uh, How? So like they're like a million miles away. A million miles. Um, uh, you mean the plimsolls? I, I, wow. I, Impressive. Boom, because I'm a hundred. I'm hundred and fourteen <laughs> years old. I'm like oldie Spotify. Um, they, but they're like a million miles away, right? Like Who's, there's there's uh, for, across the bridge. You may have magic that can reach. They're, they're about seventy like feet away. Seventy feet, you say? What's by what the way? As this was all happening, Gary and uh, Garyan's podium sort of shifts over. Uh, here, no. his floating c cylinder to, to sort of get a better read on all the action. Mm. No, hang on, I'm looking for distance things. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it's a thing. Um, crap, Ola. I would like to move. Is there anyone right there? No, and she's still, Tova's still got her. So she's last, right? Um, I would like to scooch closer to Tova. Scooch closer to Tova. Okay, so that's my movement. One, two, three. I mean, you can get right up next to Tova if you'd like. Or hey, what's up? I'm going to hey. get right doing? <laughs> up next to Tova. Okay. <laughs> You're a grower, not a shower. Yeah. Um, <laughs> want to find out? Uh, no. Uh, I'm busy. I'm, I'm, for, I'm focusing. All oh, right. Um, uh, oh my god, I am, I am blanking. Okay, so Fiera is, is so torn between the fact that she is supposed to try to kill these people and wants to save all of them that she is going to hold her. Any, her, can I just hold action without like declaring what I need to I do? I would need to know what action you're holding. It could be uh, just an attack, a spell. Uh, it could be anything, but I kind of need to know what you're holding. Um, okay, so I'm going to make sure my staff is at the ready, and I am holding it out uh, for an attack. Okay, and what, what will trigger it? Anybody fucking with me. Anyone fucking with you, you'll <laughs> attack them back. Okay, cool. That's a terrible very, use no, of my safe, turn. Uh, is there a specific attack, or is it a, a, a bonking attack? <laughs> like, will you just hit someone? Uh, it? I, it will, yeah, it'll be my it'll be my staff. Your staff, which okay. counts as unarmed because great. It's, a, it's a simple weapon. Great, great, great. All right, um, Fiat is holding her action. Uh, Kasha, you are looking a little bloodied. A little bloodied. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I have. I think I need to heal myself right now. Okay. So I'm gonna go, and I think it needs to be big so I can get back into the game here. I'm gonna use my last third level spell, and I'm gonna third level cure wounds on myself. Okay, go ahead and roll for what what you heal. 3d8 plus nine. Do it. Plus nine? Yeah. Dude, you've got all the all the healing. 
13 plus 9, so yeah. I think you're full, right? Pretty, yeah, I pr basically go back nice. to, yeah. So I'm back to 43. Wow, nicely um. done. Um, you all see uh, as Cashaw sort of touches his own heart, grows uh, glows golden for a second, and all of his wounds sort of seal up, his bruises fade away, and his hair just gets a little nicer. Um, uh, as, as he does this, one of the imps flies over and just does a little touch-up, just does some like some makeup touch-ups. My shiny? Yeah, a little, a little, Check a little shiny. Out. Here you go. Now let get me, the fuck out of my get, face. Okay, yes, sir, right away. And he, he sort of uh, zips away. Um, Tova is up next. All There's right. someone. Wait, do I get to move? Oh, still? yeah, sorry. You, you do get a movement and a bonus action. Um, if you move, he may get an attack of opportunity. I'm just saying. He might get an attack of opportunity. The, the but box. if I stay closer, I'm next to the monster. Correct. But you probably won't land on the wheel this time. Oh, yeah. This is the famous last words. <laughs> I think we have to take down the monster. I want to see if I can take down Carrington. What? Um, Your mics can pick I, up everything, you know. <laughs> I, 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 that. I will give you two drachmas. No, um, all right, you know what? Then I'm not going to give him an attack of opportunity, but there's not much I can do then. I'm going to hold my action. No, I'm not even going to hold my action. I'm just going to be done with my turn. You're, okay, great. Yeah, I'm just going to be done with my turn. Uh, that will be it for Kashaw Tova. You are up, and the battle is intense, everyone. Okay, so. First, I'm gonna say to Fieta. I don't know if you're one for alliances. I like your style. Thanks for not immediately attacking me. Uh, I, I won't attack you first if you don't attack me. And then I'm gonna run, and then I'm gonna hit Sprig with my battle axe. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! No, no, no. Okay, well, um, <laughs> as, as she leaves uh, your range, uh, Fieta, you do get an attack of opportunity if you would like to use it. No. Do I get oh. an attack of opportunity? Uh, I don't know how it works. Okay. <laughs> I won't ask. Question withdrawal. I think I think uh, Tova's live enough that she can get around Ooh, you without so uh, invoking a, an attack of opportunity. I don't know how okay. attacks of opportunity work. <laughs> All right. I'm not on the brain. So I very rarely use weapons. I roll for strength, right? Uh, just uh, I, I just roll for, uh, for an attack. I can tell you. Are, are you doing? You're doing a claw strike, or no, you're axe, using your battle axe, axe, which is imbued. Yes, uh, it'll be plus right. strength, so which is, is pretty strong. Eight. And <laughs> Ooh. proficiency. So um, okay. So wait, I'm also proficient. So that is a twenty-six. Plus. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty. <gasps> 28. I would oh, assume that hits you, okay, Sprig. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and this is the battle axe. It's a plus one, uh, and a battle axe is a, is a, one D12 is a D12. Slashing. Okay, um, so roll a D12, a D12? and no, then you'll add a, six more to it, I believe. I swear I've played this game before. Ooh. Ooh. So that is a 10 plus, come on. Oh, that's your crimson, crimson fire. And then that is a twelve. Uh, so that's a ten plus a one plus a one for the battle axe, which is a twelve. I think the battle axe is actually a plus six. Oh, because it's your strength plus the plus one. Oh. Boy, I don't know D and D at oh, all. Oh, thanks, man. But all I right. think it's a one D twelve plus six. But someone will tell me if I'm wrong. I, I have hope. opportunity attack here. What it says, if you want. If, if, if. <laughs> This will be a learning experience <laughs> for all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a hold, hold 16. That 16 or 17. Points, 16 17. points of uh, piercing damage, I believe. Because that was, yeah, my crimson right plus the battle axe. Uh, Sprig, uh, mm -hmm. any, anything, any sort of reaction, or you just take it? I see you. We, I understand. I think I, I might get a double attack. It's all right. I have oh. a confession. I think this is real. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm, I'm frightened. You do get a second attack. <laughs> I'm going to go badass. for the battle axe again. Please hold I me a wand to make you smile. Why would oh, you do Oh, I do second? feel a little bit bad. So I roll a five on this. However, that is still plus five for my strength and then my, where is my proficiency? The three, right? Yes. So that is a, um, that's a 13. Does it hit? Uh, I, I believe so, yes. I have a 14 armor. Oh, class. so it doesn't hit. Oh, dear. oh yes. Uh, this, you're using your claws or your. This was the axe again, yeah. The axe again. I think your second attack has to be an unarmed strike. Oh, okay. I believe. Uh, 
So I'm not a bear right now. So I guess I'll just punch you in the face. I sure. don't know. Um, but but it seems it seems like you you go to punch I, him I, in the I face put, I, and and he, it, he just kind of takes it. Sad little eyes, and I'm just like, oh, f- yeah. sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, you hesitate for just Someone's a second because he's just so cute, and he oh, ducks no. under. Uh, you you swing wide. I, I'm not happy about this. Um, all right, that'll be your no, your no role. Um, do you have any bonus actions you'd like to to use? Oh shit. I don't know that you do. I don't, no, no, not yet. Uh, I do, but not yet. You do, but not yet. All right, good to know. That's Tova. Um, That brings us to the top of the round. At the top of the round, um, uh, yeah, at the top of the round, uh, Garion is going to uh, teleport down real quick, right next to Kashaw. (gasps) And uh, shove a microphone in his face and say, "How do you think the match is going so far tonight?" Uh, it's been a tough haul. Uh, I got to be honest with you; none of us are really expecting the giant robot of death, which was something interesting. It's and very unexpected, right, everyone? It is. <laughs> and looking at you is making me physically ill. So I get out of my way, or I'm going to stab you next. Oh, I like your fighting spirit! And phew, he disappears and reappears back <laughs> up here. <laughs> uh, it is Sprig's turn now, who is is bleeding from an axe strike. Oh. Uh, I, I would like to run, please. Uh, wh- which way? Uh, um, uh, let's see. Um, more towards me. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna use my as you leave, you're gonna get, to, uh, both of these folks are gonna get opportunity attacks. Understandable. Them. All right, if you would like to take them. No, I was just saying before, I, I never used my, ac- I just held, so am I just, does that mean I just gave up you my action? You held it in case anyone attacked you so and then nobody I'm good, did. So okay, good, good, yeah, good, good. Okay, so just making it. sure I didn't have anything to do. Um, that's cool. As Sprig walks away, you both can have an opportunity to attack on the cutest little old man <laughs> ever. Is this a, this is with <laughs> our, our weapons? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah! Yes! Garion's rubbing his hands together. Right. He loves it! That is a 17 Can I plus a, uh, a 21. Oh! A 21 I, to hit, I believe hits. Um, Sorry. Sprig, you, I should just remind you that as a, uh, as a, as a rogue, um, two things. One, you do you do get as a reaction. You can have the damage, uh, mm-hmm. uncanny dodge to yourself. Also, before you moved, you might have used disengage uh, as a bonus action to so you wouldn't get any opportunity attacks. Just throwing that out there in case you want to sort of go back in time and make that a reality. No, the choices totally that we make are the choices we live with. <laughs> Oh man! Can I protect? And I feel like shit. <laughs> uh, the strike comes down hard uh, on Sprig's ear. Uh, roll for damage. Oh shit! Sorry, dude. Mm. So it? that is an eleven plus. I think we said six plus oh. your your blood maledict oh. thing. It's a one again. Okay, that's the guilt. So that's uh, uh, 18, <laughs> yeah, 18 uh, points. S- 18 points. 18 points. Your right. ear, uh, Sprig's ear, almost is chopped clean off as it's sort of just hanging there, bloody. You said you were going to use your, your reaction to protect him? Can I? I don't think so, but <laughs> let's say yes. Let's say that you use your reaction to, instead of an opportunity yes. attack, maybe you try to Opposite. deflect the deflect the, uh, the attack just a, a little bit. Um, and I'll say that because of that, uh, uh, the, action, the, the damage is halved, let's say. So let's so let's make ahead. it uh, nine. Good. As okay. Neela's hand sort of reaches out at the last second and grabs Toba, Toba's forearm, sort of slowing the, the the severity of the strike, but it still hits and hits hard. So nine points of damage. It was an, it was an attack of opportunity gone broke. So That's right. You were attacking. Ju- it was a little Toba. Lock eyes as you do it. Guys, rules are are all for interpretation. <laughs> <sighs> Must protect Sprig. Oh. Um, and before, now I've, I've lost track as I kept erasing and changing. Sure. The, the first hit that Tova did caused how many? You mean in the, in the previous round? Yes. Oh boy, I, uh, have, I don't remember. I was 16. 16. 16. 16. Thank you, thank you. I just tried to keep track. Great, great, great. Um, all right, that is, oh no, that's not, that's Sprig's uh, movement, so you mm-hmm. do successfully get away and you can go as far away as you'd like. Thank you. Uh, and would you like to use your action or bonus action to do anything else? Uh, might I hold it as I did before with my wand? 
Sure. Oh, uh, yes, you can hold it before. Uh, so you're going to aim the wand of smiles, or the smiley face wand, yes. at, at anyone who uh, approaches or attacks you, right? Certainly. Okay. Um, that's great to hear. Uh, <laughs> uh, awesome. That's Sprig. Um, the smorgasbot mm. uh, is oh. activated. Okay. And spins. Okay. Oh. All right, go, Tova, you are in his sights. <laughs> that's, that's karma. <laughs> um, as he leaves Kashaw's uh, oh, area, Kash, you do get an attack of opportunity. I want to take that attack of yeah. opportunity. Yes. Okay, um, what would you like to do? Uh, I don't think you can cast a spell. It probably has to be a striking type of Okay, thing. so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spear. Your spear? My spear, which is how I called it. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think, Okay, if it's an attack of opportunity, I only get one strike, right? Correct. So it's, it's yeah, I'm gonna do just a straight thrust to try to do some piercing damage. Just gonna thrust. Just a straight thrust. All right, roll that d20. Uh, tell me what you get. Mm, come on, it's against the bad monster. Okay, so it's uh, plus what? Plus Is it nine. Initi initiative? Oh, so it's just this plus nine? Yeah. Oh, okay, Th fine, then it's 24. Oh, definitely the hits, roll for damage. Okay. Uh, because I think you're using this two-handed, it would be 1d8 plus six. 1d8 plus six. Nine. Nine points of damage. Nice. You strike the smorgasbot. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of low, because he's a, a tall creature in his upper thigh. Um, all right, he is, yeah. It knocked off a chunk of, of weaponry, but okay. uh, he's still he's still doing fine. Um, it, it appears, uh, and he's going to walk out of your range and go ah. 10, 15, 20, 30, 30, 30. Uh, oh wait, can he do forty or sixty? He can do thirty-five feet of movement, so he gets about here, trying to get to you, Tova. Hey, Can't where's that like exploding bridge at right now? Uh, Just wondering. Oh, like is it has it caved in? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good call. Uh, okay, it's uh, with this gigantic 300-pound robot stomping across it. It starts to lose some of its structural integrity. It's okay. still holding for right now, right. but you can see dust sort of falling underneath it. Some of the rocks are are chipping off and falling into the lava, splashing uh, and steaming up with uh, with smoke as they do. But it's it's holding for now. Uh, he can't get all the way to Utova, so instead he's going to cast a spell. All right. Um, he looks at you. Uh, and utters a command word. The word is advertise. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to command you to advertise. Um, let's see if it works. <laughs> uh, command, I believe you get to make a spell uh, saving throw of um, boop, 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 boop. Wisdom saving throw. Go ahead and roll okay. a d20. Uh, that is a seven, eight, that is a 15. A 15, I can't find his spell DC, but I am, I'm assuming it's like 13 or something. Where is it? DC 15, oh God, is it, are we here again? I don't know. It's 15 and 15? Oh, God damn it, I wish I knew how to play D&D. <laughs> meat, meat is beat, right? Meat is beat, so you beat, you beat, I you beat win. The <laughs> <laughs> It's great! Yay! The command, uh, the command finds your ears, Capitalism. and you you immediately look down at your uh, at your belongings that you got from the smorgasbord, and you you think how amazing and shiny and and all the unique properties that you have that you could sell them with, but y your force of will sh sort of shakes through it and shakes it off, and you and you uh, you reject the urge to advertise for this man's products. Okay. Uh, no effect. That's the end of the smorgasbot's turn. Neela, you are up. I want to cast another bolt of lightning against that capitalist shiny bot. Uh, you can cast this again because it just sort of stays up, right? And you can just keep yes, casting. Yes, I I still concentrate you on it. You still concentrate, mm -hmm. so it's called lightning again. Go ahead and uh, I think he does a dex save again, right? Yes. Uh, he rolled a three. He doesn't save. So go ahead and yes. roll roll another three d ten. Oh. Or is it the same every time? No, let's just no, roll I again. I like rolling. I think it's different. But I, oh my gosh, I have to look at my thing again. What's my detail? Okay, my, okay, this one. Nine. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, five. Is that a D10? That's a. Oh, is this okay. not my D10? This That's is. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is? Okay. Yeah. What was the second one? Five. 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 Nine, five, and two. Nine, five, and two. Okay, that's uh, 16 points of damage. That's amazing. Nice. 
Lightning uh, uh, knocks him down to one knee, but he stands right back up again. And does the bridge? Uh, oh, does know? it affect the bridge? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Until your concentration's broken? Nice. Wow, that's that's sick. Really <laughs> it's a really good spell, y'all. Yeah. Um, you all right, you still have it. movement and bonus action if you'd like to take it, Neela? Movement or bonus action? Oh, oh yes, I, I would like to protect my new friend Sprig. Can I move closer to him? Sure. I don't know if Tove takes an uh, attack of opportunity. I don't know how it works. So let's just say you angle sort of around <laughs> her. It said when a hostile enemy was was disengaging, so if they weren't hostile towards each other, would they get an attack of opportunity? We well, know. she was a little hostile. She stopped Tova's attack before. Oh, it was just an accident. I yeah. was. You know what? Let's, I think we had a moment. Let's when see if stopped, you be, if you believe me. that it was an accident. I remembered my. Can humanity. you both roll a, a d20, <laughs> and you can do persuasion and you can do Ooh. insight. Well, that is a three. Okay, so yes, you believe that it was just an accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, awesome. she gets by you, no problem. Oh, uh, you're, your way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just super polite. Please and thank you. Um, all right, you're in front of Sprig. What would you like to do now? You have a bonus action if you if you have anything you can oh, do with no, it. Oh, I just like to. Okay. <laughs> would you like a hug? Oh dear, yes. <laughs> yeah, that would be lovely. Oh, and I'm going to reach into my little smell bag and present to you a little red flower that's bloomed. Thank you. I, I will put it in my lapel. It will bring us both luck. I believe you. Excellent. I think you have given me the courage to do what I didn't do 40 years ago. I will stand my ground and defend my friends. And I will be there right with you, right alongside you. Well done. Uh, both of you roll charisma checks to see how the audience is responding to this. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 11. Uh-huh. Uh, what's my... Six. Uh-huh. So uh, up, in the, up in the booth, Garion is yawning. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what, is, what is this? What are they doing down there? This is the worst TV. We want conflict, not... not uh, get the cameras off them. Put them on Tova. All right, next up is uh, Fiera. Uh, damn, why is it Fiera? She's so indecisive right now. Okay, well, first Fiera. of all, she I can tell you what stop. she's feeling. Uh, she is completely racked with guilt that she didn't take the opportunity to mm. do something to Tova, and that Tova took it out on the tiniest human alive, or the tiniest mm -hmm. creature sure, sure. alive, that in tracks. the worst of ways. Um, she, uh, hold for talent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hold for talent. Okay, she uh, runs toward Tova, who, are these, are these, Facing the way that they would be facing right now? Uh, no, that you can be facing any way you want. Okay, I was not sure if your back was to me or not. Um, and just for out of curiosity, how wide is that? Is that a lava flow? How it is a lava flow. Yes, I should have uh, done a better job of describing the uh, area around you. Uh, it looks hot delicious. Hot magma looks is like sort of flowing in this direction <laughs> through this whole area. Uh, right. It looks fresh. All of these things are bubbling, just blistering hot magma, uh, and it's about. Let's see. Now I'm hungry for pizza. 15 to 20 oh, feet across, depending on where, where it is. Um, Some of these wider spaces are 20. This is probably How does million. one know what one's jump range is? Just I believe, out of it's, I believe it's half your uh, your movement. Half your movement is your jump. So I believe. Oh, maybe I'm making it up. I don't know, guys. That's what it is today. You're in charge. You get We're to decide. We're live. Put you're, it in the, chat. you're the master. This is its, <laughs> own, <laughs> chat. This is its own reality. I think. Okay. Make so the wait. Rules. You said it's 15 to 20 across. Mm -hmm. So that little um, island in the middle there is uh -huh. probably not as far across. Correct. Oh no no no. That's probably 10 feet. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, so, I'm being told by chat. That uh, a long jump uh, with 20 feet of movement running up. No, a long jump is 20 feet for you. So you. It's can 20 feet. Okay, that's half my. Okay, uh, I am going to run to Tova. Uh, okay. This is you, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. To Tova. To okay. Tova. Two, so three. That's You've got some more movement if you right. want to use it. And uh, so that was like what, 15? Yeah, 15 feet okay. so far. And. Um, Mm -hmm. Hold again for Hold talent. For Sorry. talent. Sorry. Cheat, cheat sheets. Um, you Come have on, taken, do something, you have taken, says Garion. You have taken um, 
Uh, I wave. <laughs> <laughs> no camera is on you right now. <laughs> <laughs> keep waving. <laughs> on your own. Maybe one will look at us if we do this. We both start waving. You, uh, you see way up in the stands above you, uh, a, a child has made uh, a crude sign that says, I love Sprig, and, hold, and holds it up. Uh, the, the child says, a little elf child, uh, the child's mother quickly pulls it down and says, no, 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 no. <laughs> I send okay. hearts. Um, I, uh... I say to Tova, alliance, you say? Not with one as cruel as you. And she, uh, she shall use uh, Rish to the Blaze. The, huh? Yeah. Which is just a cantrip, which is delightful. I believe that, that I believe that I'm getting this right. Reach to the Blaze. Hold, hold, hold is that what you said? You can attack with this flame. Doing so ends the spell. When you cast a spell or as an action on the you can hurl a flame at a creature. It's like burning hands. Yeah. Oh shit! I don't want to do that close up, though. I don't think I can do that close up. Oh, someone tell me whether I can do this or not. What, what is, the spell is burning hands, or is it something else? It's called so produce you flame. Can produce choose, flame. You can oh, choose got it. where the radius centers. I know I'm helping you attack me, but um, <laughs> <laughs> you can choose a point and anything within that radius, so you can be outside of it. If you you can do the radius, I can do the radius like in the middle of the lava, yeah. oh, and shit. it would yeah. hit you. And not oh dear, um, we're good. It's only 1d8 to hold for talent. We're helping each other. It's a great uh, at fifth <laughs> level, it becomes 2d8. Oh, it's 2d8. It's 2d8. Oh, it's 2D8. <laughs> and yes, you can cast this spell and, and, and make a ranged yeah. spell attack. <laughs> Who are you going to aim it at? Oh, yeah. but she's so close. Can I? It'll still can, work. Yeah. I'd like to. I'd just like to hit Tova with to it. To Tova with with the. Uh, well, I don't want to be in the the range of it. That's Got what I'm it. Well, then you so might have like center stopped, in the. You might have stopped a little short. Okay, cool. I guess. It, yeah. Um, and we'll pretend that. Yeah, is not as indecisive as Anjali. Sure, she's pissed. Well, she's angry about it. So uh, yeah. go ahead and roll a uh, plus your spell attack, um, uh, whatever it's called. <laughs> all I see is hit, it's a plus six. Hit DC. So so well, roll, this so is roll plus, six. plus yeah d twenty plus six. Natural twenty plus. Six. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. Oh. Roll two d eight. Twenty. I'm gonna get this. find this one. Eight. Oh, damn. Six. Well, it's okay, cocked. It's cocked. I don't think that okay. counts, right? One. Mm. Okay, nine, but you double it because it's a natural 20. Oh, boy. So that's 18, 18. points of fire damage. A wreath of fire uh, consumes you instantly, Tova, burning and singeing your eyebrows. They burn clean off. Oh, no, my eyebrows. Yes, yeah, so you look just a little weird now. <laughs> Better for um, camera. Uh, you're not <laughs> resistant to that in, or anything, right? You're Fire? Good? No. Okay, no. that's your action. You still have a bunch bonus. of movement, if you'd like. And Fiera. I have bonus actions, no? And bonus action as well, yes. Let's see what those could be. Um, let's what find out. Useful, I don't think. I don't know that I can... I can't use an unarmed strike because I just used a spell. Uh, correct. Um, actually, oh. wait. Uh, because you're a, you're a monk, right? Correct. So you can use uh, after you use the attack action on your turn, you can sp spend a key point to make two unarmed strike strikes as a bonus. But isn't action. that only Correct. if I actually attacked with? It says here unarmed strike in general is. I mean, I'm hold your tongue. I'm saying you're uh, saying I can't. She's correct. Yes, you're correct. Okay. Uh, you can't you can't do that if you've made a spell attack. Correct. Okay, yeah. great. But um, you can use uh, key points for other things like patient defense, step of the wind. I don't need that. I don't want that. Uh, I'll take the movement and move back away from Tova. Okay. To? To just, yeah, right there, whatever the rest of my movement was. Okay. You wind up about there, next to the Robo. Bridge of Doom. Bridge of Doom. Um, all right, that wraps up Fiera's turn. Cashaw, you're up. Uh, first of all, quick amendment, I am not back to full. It was, I'm at 40, not 43. Great, thank you for your honesty. Um, just so you know, I redid the math, which I'm not sure. so much with. Sure. Um, a calculi is a real thing. <laughs> um, okay, so I don't like big robot man. And I cannot lie. And I cannot <laughs> lie. Doesn't quite have the same ring. Uh, I nope. don't like big bots. <laughs> and I can't <laughs> <laughs> nice. yeah. There it is, there it is. That's what I was looking for. All right, so I would like to attempt, anyway, to cast blindness on the robot. 
Okay, go ahead and uh, your spell save DC, I believe, is, hold on, I'll find out soon enough, um, is 15. So he has to, uh, I believe he has to make a constitution save uh, to see if he saves against this. He rolled a 10 plus three. Uh, he does not succeed, so he is blinded. Ooh. Oh, snap. Uh, I believe that's how that spell works. It is now, anyway. <laughs> um, uh, so, yes. Blinded uh, for the duration until on every turn now you have to make a constitution saving throw. Sparkling oh. energy enwreaths the uh, the Smorgasbot's uh, ocular cavities, and uh, and, he, and you can hear him exclaim, "Hey, what the? Someone, uh, this this camera's all messed up in here. Oh, come on!" And he cannot see. Uh, I am nice. then going to slowly start to walk up behind him. Okay. <laughs> So you kind of hop up here, ten, ten. Like there, like I don't want to go. I don't want to go onto the actual bridge. Sure, I sure, sure. Be You're on right on the, the edge of where the bridge sort of could supports. collapse. Sure, sure, sure. Yes, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And you, and that's your movement, and that's your action. That's, that's, and any bonuses? Or are you good? Uh, no, I think I'm good. Okay. Um, that's it for um, Akasha. Tova, you're up. Uh, can I reach that bridge with my movement? <sighs> <Five>. <laughs> You can reach right can I go about on here. the other side of uh, Fiora? Yeah, sure. Um, hmm. All right. Five, so as I go, 15, I'm going to be like, hey, 20, don't attack. Can, Let me run, make it up to you. You can run 25 or 30. All the way to the bridge. I mean, it, what is your speed? Is oh. it 30 or 25? Well, fuck. Uh, oh, it's nice it? on your. Oh, look. 25. 25. 25. Okay, so you can almost get right there. You oh, can right. I reach the bridge at all? You can't really. Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, can I reach any part of the bridge? Let's see here. You started over here. Yeah. If you did a wait, how did I get there before? Uh, you're right. If you had moved that far away, you can absolutely get back to where okay. you were. <laughs> My math is fucked. <laughs> All right. Yes. So if she doesn't attack me, which hopefully not, well, I'm gonna not, swing at this bridge. At the bridge. At the bridge. Oh, nice. With yes. Max. Yes. Good call. Uh, okay. Um, let's go ahead and yeah, roll, roll to see if you hit oh, it. No. See if I have anything I can do to help this. I feel like I have an advantage situation somewhere in here. Um, you know what? Why don't you? Uh, you know what? Just make an intelligence check to see if you can find a weak spot of the bridge. So just okay. roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier, which is zero. Oh, it's a nat one. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you were swinging blindly. That that first strike, um, it didn't hit anything uh, significant. You you probably aimed at the wrong part of the bridge. Okay. Just kind of clatters off. I think I might have been wrong before when I said that your second attack needs to be an unarmed one. Really? I think you I think you can be a uh, an axe strike again for your okay. second attack. So All right. feel Otherwise free. I'm gonna look like a huge idiot. All right. Not not the worst. Okay. So it's. Uh, that would be a, an 18. An 18 definitely hits. Roll for damage. What do I do? I do my normal. Okay. Yeah. Yep. The blood inside of you grows Wait, hot so with rage. So that is a six plus a six plus a one. Oh, you have to roll for your blood maledict damage. Oh, right. right? 12 plus three. Okay, so that is uh, 15 yeah. 15 points of damage to the bridge. Mm -hmm. um, let's see how the bridge is doing. Ooh, not great. Uh, the bridge starts to uh, shift and uh, shimmy at the point of impact. Oh boy, let's see what we can do. That's glued down. Um, <laughs> it doesn't completely collapse, but uh, how do I do this? Do you want me to break it? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh, figure this out. I have oh, this. I got stuck. Do you want me to break okay. it? What's this, maybe? Yes. maybe? Oh god, it's all glued together perfectly. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's just Let's say that this, this area is has dipped into the lava. Oh, hey. And uh, this blind guy is starting to sort of slide down towards yeah. the uh, towards the broken right, part of the right. bridge. Cashaw uh, is expertly just out of uh, out of the way of uh, of the collapse Smart. because he uh, he planned it perfectly. Um, Tova, that's I, your action. I, I'm just going to wrap up by um, just talking real quick to Violet, and I'm going to be like, I'm sorry, 
I've, I've died before, I don't want to do it again. I'm doing what had to be done, but I don't, I don't want to hurt anybody. If there's a way out of this that doesn't involve hurting anybody, I would do it. She says nothing. She says nothing. Ooh, boy. Um, and the cameras are just sort of surrounding this intimate moment of intensity. She <laughs> says nothing, but you don't know why. Like, she's just, she's... stone face. Poker face. Okay, all right. If there were a game called poker in this reality. <laughs> um, melee face. Melee, melee, melee face. <laughs> um, let's see, let's do one more round here. Uh, Garion uh, uh, is gonna, from his floating podium, sort of shoot it this way. And moves to get a better angle at these at these uh, young ladies who are having this intense, dramatic moment, um, just to see uh, if he can get a better angle on it. Uh, he whispers to his imps, "Yes, yes, more of that, more of that, and play some more dramatic music if you can." The music starts to <laughs> shift um, to try to get this this moment of drama between them. Uh, all right, that's uh, Garion's turn. Sprig, you're up. Well. Uh, what shall we do? I guess we are together now. I don't know. There's not much cover to be had here. True. We could go on the attack, although I fear that is not a wise choice. Why not? Well, it seems you rather mean. <laughs> <laughs> Years ago, I, I, I ran away, and everyone that I held dear died. This is good stuff. This I is fear. Good stuff. This may happen today, oh, man. and I don't want that to happen. I will follow your lead. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. I like big bots and I cannot lie. Oh, I just got that. Oh, 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 yes. oh so you're following my lead. But I oh. can still strike at that, that bot. An excellent idea. He's definitely evil. Let's move towards it. Okay. I will move towards the flaming bridge. All right, as you move, Neela, you get an attack of opportunity if you would like to use it. I shall not. 10, 15, 20, 25. Is your movement 25? Yes, it is. Okay, that's about as far as you can get. Thank you. Um, any action or bonus action? Well, I have a spell that's the 30 foot range, and I do not believe that the bot is within that range. Uh, no, it is not quite. Bridges. But you can use your uh, your action to move farther. I, I would like to do that as okay, well. Okay, you can move another 25 feet. Thank you. Uh, like on the to the foot of the bridge? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, I'll say you go this way, so you hop over this little mm -hmm. ravine chasm thing, Hup. and you're right about there. You, you want to get within 30 feet of him? Sure. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So oh. you'd have to go partially up the... You do not need to get so close. I still have more lightning bolts. Mm -hmm. Oh! Well, we make our choices. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I cannot cast now, I've just moved. Yes, that, is, that would be your action. Well done. If you have a bonus action, you can use it. I don't know what it would be. I'm going to hold that if I could. Uh, with my You wand. can only dash, disengage, or hide. So, I... so you could move f even farther if you'd like. Well, but the bridge is collapsing, is it not? You know what? Uh, you could have used your bonus action to dash, and now you still have your action. Okay. Yes. So you can still cast your spell, because I, I keep forgetting you're a rogue. So you get movement, bonus action to dash, and now you can do your action. Oh, snap. I have, let's see if it's 30, because I'm not going to use that. That's changed. Uh, that's not a person. I can't cast charm person. You don't know. It seems to have a personality. Mm. I, I wish to cast Charm Person to make new friends. <gasps> Charm on the person. robot. On the robot. All right, let's see what happens. Go. Uh, is that a save? Charm Person a save? Let's see. Boy, I need to really learn how to play D&D, &D, guys. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a Charm save. Person. Yes, Wisdom's yes. 15 save. Here goes the monster. Okay. He rolled a 15 plus, mm. uh, wait, what's his wisdom? It's plus zero. I have a question. Does being does being blinded make oh. any difference to you? Do you roll with disadvantage or only no? Only on a melee attack. Gotcha. I okay. Yeah. Um, I I could be wrong, but I think it's only on when he needs to see something. Gotcha. Um, so he rolled a fifteen. So he he actually he survives the uh, the spell attack. Unfortunately, That's all right. I think I've naturally charmed him. <laughs> <laughs> if he can only see you, maybe, maybe. 
I charm many people that can't see me. They find it best that way. Hello, child in the audience! <laughs> the child actually has uh, an older sister who is also has also made uh, an I love Sprig sign, and they're oh both holding them up yes. now. You have, you have a little fan contingent One of a couple of kids. Sprig. One at a time. <laughs> That's how we win. <laughs> Hooray! Um, all right, it is the Smorgasbot's turn. Uh, the Smorgasbot, unable to see anything, searches blindly, trying to find uh, an opponent. Uh, he will roll Neela. Um, but, oh, where is Neela? So all the way, all the way over there. Uh, the, the Smorgasbot turns around, uh, seemingly for a second, looking at, K at Kashaw, but clearly can't see anything, and immediately, you notice that the smorgasbot makes a beeline for Neela. Oh. As he stomps across the bridge, I will make a roll to see if oh. it's too forceful and knocks down the bridge. Oh, Come happens. on, it's after Thanksgiving, you fool. <laughs> the bridge collapsed. Oh, yeah! Yes! <laughs> Into the hot melting cheese. is in the lava. Oh boy, well we might have just made him like super hot. Yeah. Uh, let's so. find out. It is 10 d10 fire damage. That's a lot. Um, Y'all stay away D10. from that lava. That's significant. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to roll it on Google because <laughs> that's a lot of dice. We can all Holy it. shit. Oh. 53 points oh, yeah. of fire damage yes. to the smorgasbot. Uh, he's looking real rough. Yes, uh, yes. That's he's right. lost nine, he's lost 16, he's lost 53. He's lost 25 plus 53, okay. he's lost seven. Uh, flames consume his metal form. Uh, anything that was, he's made out of all of the, the weapons that were on that big cache. Anything that was wood has started to burn. Anything that was metal is beginning to melt and uh, sort of make these big, ugly lumps all over his body. Uh, the, the small uh, producer brain inside of it is saying, ah, come on, this is, no, I didn't, I, I, it's time for my union break, this is the worst. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, he he's can- He's in the guild? Yeah, he's in the guild. Uh, he's on fire. He's a I'm member of- them. <laughs> he's a member of Iauchi now. <laughs> I love it. Um, God, because he's on fire. Okay. <laughs> he's yes. going, he was we gonna use it. his action to cast a spell, but instead he's gonna use his action to try to climb out of the oh lava. Uh, he'll roll an acrobatics check. He got a- Okay, he is able to get to the edge and pull himself out, but let's say that he is prone at the end of his turn. Opportunity? He's just moved within your range. He hasn't moved without it, so uh, no attack of opportunity right now. That's the end of his turn. Neela, you are up. I want to finish him with another strike of lightning. What are you doing? Are you too close? We're in right no, there. No, I think you're you're just far to enough away. You, this is all now just fire and flame and lava. We're right next to him. He's like attached <laughs> he, to him. I've been hit by him. Tova is outside bad. of his 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 sphere of influence, right? So I think he's okay. I think we it's both okay. Neck, we are both right but up against you. Can, you can move you can, it you can to the other it. side of him, so that's it right. doesn't yeah, 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 encompass yeah, yeah, yeah. us. Just center it somewhere that you might hit that imp though. That's fine. Okay, you're shooting this lightning uh, called lightning again. Yes. Okay. Uh, how? Let me just see. When the cast uh, choose a point, you can see at the on each of your turns, you can use your action to call down lightning this way again, targeting the same point or a different one. Holy bajoli! <laughs> um, all right, where are you aiming? The bot. Yes. The what? bot. Okay. You can aim it in a way that uh, it will shoot right next to the bot and not hurt your friends. All right. That is what I want to do. All right. Even though it's a or hell of a whatever they are. He'll roll a dexterity <laughs> save at disadvantage. He doesn't succeed. 3d10, please, of damage. Oh, shit. 13. Nice. 13 points of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Is it, is it, is it look, dangerously close now to death? He is looking real rough. <laughs> the, the lightning uh, has melted a lot of the remaining metal parts in his in his body, and right now, you, all you basically see is is a, a frantic producer inside pulling at Wait, levers, he's inside, uh, trying trying to make it oh, work. Oh, There's shit. a guy. I didn't <laughs> go <yet. laughs> oh my god! I didn't sign up oh for this. God. I just took it because I'm a day player. I'm a day player. I didn't I want to be here. 
I didn't know. Oh, I'm sure. sure. I, I thought this was a talk show. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh this He's is awesome. still trying to kill everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Bye, yes. Dubs. Uh, yeah, it's a little impish uh, creature inside that's <laughs> oh controlling the. It's the an gear. imp. It's another one of the imps. <laughs> Um, oh, he's looking real rough, there. though. Um, you want to do any movement? Uh, I like where I am. <laughs> <laughs> great. Um, great. Well, then that'll be your turn. And Fiera, you're up. Sprig, come back. Um. Fuck! I want to really take this guy down. Uh, okay, I will. Um, I will attack him with my. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go for his neck area with a with my with my um, staff staff okay uh, and try to get it just try to make try to end it fast end it okay go ahead and make an attack roll uh, at advantage because he's prone boy how okay, does this we work we have seventeen <laughs> yes. and five so seventeen plus. Uh, that's not my. Uh, it, it will work. His armor class is very low. Okay, so great. yes, uh, you so, definitely hit. So uh, then I have my damage. Attack. Like super Boom. high tech with like the laptop yeah. and the yeah. 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 Where do I find out what my attack is? Oh, sorry. Um, I mean, what my damage is. Uh, it's let's two d eight, but I just want to make sure. Oh, because this is your unarmed. this is your quarter staff, right? Correct. I can't tell either, so let's just say it's one d eight plus three. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> Ten. Oh, well. Ten. Yeah. How do, you wanna, how do you want to do this? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yes! So I, I, I look at Tova, and I as I'm looking at her, I swing my staff over, like I flip it over like this, and just crack it down on his neck. Okay. But staring at her the whole time. Oh. I don't know if this is good or bad. But <laughs> and I it's and I just like <laughs> knock it and I just like knock it down. Head pops off. The guy inside. The whole thing. Okay. Oh. So you slam your staff down. The guy shrieks out. The little imp creature shrieks uh, out. Oh! Wait, oh! I, have, I have a question. Yeah. Is he inside the head part or is he, he just was like? He's like in the upper chest and neck area, sort of holding some gears and. Uh, oh. Okay. So I I knock the head off. Oh, of the bot. Of the bot. Exposing the imp inside. Exposing the imp inside. Oh. Yes. And I say, get out. Okay. <laughs> he, uh, he he does. <laughs> uh, he gets up and he just kind of, uh, here, I'll put another imp on the board. He gets up and just starts running. Uh, 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 I, uh, you'll be hearing from me for workman's comp. And he just starts <laughs> running away as fast as he can. Come back, you could get a job as an empire. <laughs> oh boy. Um, it's a game. The bot has been disabled. Garion up on the floating podium is raving with anger. Is there anything else you want to do on this I turn? I still have a bonus strike. A bonus? Oh yeah, well, you can use key points to strike no, again. No, no, I have, I have an automatic unarmed, I have a bonus Great. action. Great, do it again. Unarmed strike. Is that robot without someone in it, does it have any? Sentience or movement? Can it do things? Uh, why don't you roll an intelligence check, uh, or a perception check, actually, just to kind of see what's for going example, on with it. For example, is it big enough for me to get in? Oh! Okay, okay. Roll wow. an intelligence check and we'll find out. We're gonna start mecking in 15. here. 15. Okay, it's heavily damaged, mm. but you, uh, f for the last round of combat, you did see the gears that the imp was working, and if you wanted to sort of you can't probably fit inside because you're much bigger than the imp. But if you wanted to sort of manipulate them, you could try. You could try to. Uh, and there's nothing that I can like yank, like no weapons I can yank off later. It is made of weapons, but they're mostly melted and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, sort yeah, of no, ruined it's, at it's this point. Fucked. If you wanted to spend the rest of your action searching, you could. No, that doesn't seem wise. Um, fuck. It might. It might work. But it depends on how you roll. And. I'm making up the rule. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, again, I look at Sova and I say, you stay. And I search the bot. Okay, roll an investigation check. Dang. 16. Uh, a 16. Um, in searching the bot, in searching the bot, uh, you do not find anything useful inside the bot at all. It's just a, a mass of molten, gross uh, metal and uh, parts. Um, 
It just doesn't look like much of anything. However, looking just past the robot in the rubble of the bridge, underneath, you see a small leather pouch. That's it. <laughs> How far away is said leather, leather just pouch? Just in the rubble over here, sort of right next to the, so the I lava. Get, so I could technically get to it. I think you could, yes. And I still have movement. Uh, you do still have movement, yes. Um, so I'm going to take my movement, but backing away from her, so no, don't. I'm just like pointing at her as I do it. Uh -huh. And I'd like to get to the the closest part of the bridge where I'm not getting, you know, lavaed, sure. flamed. Sure, make a uh, acrobatics uh, check to see if you can avoid the bubbling uh, I mean, lava. It's a 22. Oh, crazy, great. Uh, yes, you expertly dodge the, the lava and magma. Where is this thing? <laughs> magma. Um, magma. It's such a good word. I'll, magma. Find, I'll find it, I'll find it <laughs> soon. Magma. Um, you pick up this, um, this bag. Uh, you pick up this bag. Okay, excellent. Um, we don't know what it's in. What's in it yet? Uh, we'll yeah, out. you don't have time this turn to. Well, yeah, you can open it. Why not? Ooh. Yeah, let's see what's pouch, in the pouch, bag. Pouch, pouch, pouch. Um, Doesn't work as well as boxes. You open it, and the second that you do, um, the music sort of changes in the arena, and uh, and Garion's voice is instantly triggered from a sort of a pre-recorded message, uh, and you hear uh, him addressing in a gleeful tone the audience saying, "Folks, don't you hate it when you need a hole but there's no hole to be had? Well, holy moly, have we got you covered! G Corp's patented Insta Hole is hidden somewhere <laughs> around the field of combat. It can make a hole at a moment's notice." Don't trust any hole. Only stick your body parts in my hole. The G Corp Insta Hole. So you have a Insta Hole, which is a uh, it's a three foot wide piece of fabric that you can lay on anything, and it will make a hole in that in that object or space. It's not like an interdimensional hole. It's just like. You can we make a hole where... through something. Okay. Okay, so it doesn't lead, like I couldn't put the hole in the ground and it leads to nothing. Like, uh, it, it has to go through things. It goes through things. Interesting. What the fuck? We put a hole in it. <laughs> so many jokes, so little time. <laughs> We're all quiet because we have 19 jokes going through our heads. You used so many of them in the advertisement. That was Fiera. Okay, Cashaw, your turn. Do I need to move? My little duder. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Just to you were. I'm probably right, up there by Sprig. Oh right shit! Here. You're on the other side. You're like over here, right? Yeah, right. just not somewhere where I'm gonna like cave in when the thing caves the in. The cave. The thing already caved in. You're That's right. Right, right at the edge of the lava. I wish okay. I could remove this bridge, but I cannot because fair, it fair, is fair. all taped down. How far across is the liquid hot magma? Uh, it's about a 15 foot leap. So people could leap it. Yeah, there's also some uh, debris and stuff in there that you could probably hop over if you wanted to. I'm just wondering if I'm completely cut off from the rest of the world. Or I should say they're cut off from me because I can fly. Oh. <laughs> but. Uh, oh man, it's so tough. I don't know what to do because part of me just wants to stay on this side and watch them kill each other. I mean, I'm, I'm separated from everything, so I could just. Yeah. I could f straight up Peter Malark it for the rest of the <laughs> rest of the melee if I wanted to. Um, you know what? For a couple rounds, I think I'm going to. I'd like to walk over to this section of rock right here. Okay. Uh, using your action uh, to double your movement. No. Nope. Uh, get just... me just to a nice big set of stones right there. Perfect. Like right there. Yes. Just and then I would away. like to cast if I could. I don't know if I can. Hang on. No, I can't forget it, so good. I'm just gonna stay there for right now. Okay. Because I have no third level slots left. Uh, great. Um, any holding action? You're good. You just no, go. I'm just good for now. Okay. I want to watch, I want to see what happens here a little Tova, bit. Tova, a lot of drama going on on your side of the board. Yeah. Well, what, what, do you, what do you got going on? What's up next? Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up at fi, 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 <laughs> Fira? Fira? Fira. 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 I had it earlier in the game, and it just <laughs> went out of my head. Okay. <laughs> a lot has happened. I mean, it's, been a day. it's been a day. We're having a day. So what are we doing? Are, are, we, are we killing each other here, or are we busting out? Hmm. 
I'm on the bridge. Are you yelling at me? I'm, yeah. Uh, Hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Hi. I'm still uh, staring. Uh, oh fuck. There has to be another way. There has to be another way than praying on the weak. All right. Got it. Uh, Ring of invisibility. Ooh, schnapkins. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Um, Tova turns invisible. Well, let's just clear this robot. Um, and disappears from view. Um, um, I would like to investigate this arena we're in and see, uh, maybe investigate uh, this platform yes. that our host is on and, and the enclosure that we're contained in and see what I can find out. Uh, you're going where? I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll take a, I guess I'm gonna get as far as close as I can to the boundaries of the arena, but also to this platform that. Um, like over here? Can you, sorry, can you fly? You can't fly. I can't fly, no, okay, I'm a dwarf. So, you, so you're, right, you're right here looking up or you're gonna go to the edge to look out? I'll go to the edge. Okay. You go um, the... I just wanna see what we're contained in. I'm gonna focus on that, not on the platform. Sure, sure. It's a lattice work of, uh, of iron um, that has been built in sort of a, uh, an arena, a dome uh, shape. Uh, beyond it, uh, it's heavily obscured by mesh and wire and glass um, to protect the audience. Um, but beyond it, you can see in the darkness uh, the stunned faces of the of the spectators watching you uh, through through the uh, through the crowd. Um, thank you, little gnomes. <laughs> um, uh, but you do see that the, it's a lattice work of uh, of iron and wire that sort of uh, forms a semicircle dome on top. It, it it could be climbable if you if you are interested in climbing up. Getting through it might take a lot of force, but you could try. Um, it's it's designed to protect the audience from from you. Okay. So, uh, so it's pretty thick. But it's a it's a big dome. It's a dome. It's a dome. Yeah. So it covers the whole thing. About sixty feet high. Okay. How high, um, how high are the floating duders? Uh, they're about uh, but he thirty came feet. He, he appeared down before. Right. Right. But they're just floating. That's not a platform, right? Yes, they're floating on a, on a like platform. a uh, floating disc, a levitating disc. Do I have any movement left? Uh, no, unless you you, you know you used your action to activate your ring, you used your movement already. That's kind of it for movement. Okay. You could use a bonus action. I could. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna be done for now. Okay. Um, great. That's your roll. Um, seeing that his smorgasbot has been defeated. And that everyone is being too nice to each each other. They got to me. What can you say? Garion uh, Garrington uh, turns to Grody and says, "Grody, take this down. I don't like where this is going. We're we're a big lead in tonight. We have to wrap this up before the next show starts. So activate the actions, the lair actions. Uh, the the entire uh, arena shakes and quakes." Um, I need you all to make a dexterity save as an uh, as the floor shakes with the power of an earthquake. Uh, so roll a d20, add your dexterity, it's a dexterity save. What are these saves over again? Uh, they're on the upper left, usually. Nine. Okay. Uh, 13. 22. Amazing. Wait, oh, dexterity right save, save is, or, is yeah. just, so it's your, de it's your dex modifier? Mm -hmm. tell, just uh, tell me if you got above or below a 16. I got below. 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 I got above. 23, so I'm So good. two aboves, all right. Okay, the people who rolled below a 16 take 15 points oh, of geez. force oh, damage. <laughs> and the people above take seven points okay. of. Wait, you said 15? 15 for the belows, seven, because uh, the force of the quake. And how many of the rest of us took seven, you said? Seven, and the, uh, let me see here. Who, you succeeded Fiera, right? And Sprig? Yes, I succeeded. So they both remain standing. The rest of you are knocked prone. Wow. Even though you're invisible, you are knocked Damn prone. Um, and you see rising up on the corners of this uh, this crazy <laughs> arena, uh, shaking and quaking as they rise out of the ground, these two giant pillars with uh, uh, transparent orbs, glass orbs on top, um, sort of just sitting there menacing you. <laughs> um, and uh, and Gary, in trying to keep his shit together, says, Go to intermission. Go to intermission, goddammit. This is not going the way I planned it. 
Um, uh, fire and ice uh, sort of wipes across the holographic screen uh, above your heads, and um, and everything goes uh, silent for a moment because uh, the rules of intermission have taken place. <laughs> you all are suddenly frozen in place. You can still speak, um, but you cannot move. You cannot do any actions. Uh, uh, you're still breathing. Uh, and all of a sudden, the lights of the audience come on as well, and uh, you start to see people file out to go to concession stands or wherever they need to go. Um, uh, Garyon is also going to float right over here so he gets a better view. And um, you hear Grody say, That's it, everybody. We're at commercial. And that's where we'll take our break for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back soon. Please stay with us. Evil rises. Our only hope lies in these brave warriors. What the fuck? Right. Who else have we got? I'm sorry, who the hell are you? Who Fox Machina? We fuck shit up. Let's go! Oh, come on, come on, work! Stand You can't be seriously considering them for such a task. Our reputation is less than stellar. <laughs> if killing for gold isn't getting us anywhere, maybe we try doing some good this time? Nah. Boring. If this evil persists, the kingdom will starve to death. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, oh. Light him up! I suggest we run right now! Fuck that! We fight! <laughs> You're hurt. No big question. This is normal. Oh, oh no. Oh. Darrington Press. Experience the dawning of a new age with Tal'Dorei campaign setting Reborn, the definitive 5e sourcebook that brings the land of Tal'Dorei to your game. Rediscover the land of Critical Role's Vox Machina 20 years after their campaign with new maps, detailed guides for each region, and a fold-out map of the continent. Delve into Tal'Dorei's hidden histories with this nearly 300-page tome containing nine dazzling subclasses, five rich backgrounds, and dozens of new creatures, feats, and magic items, including the Vestiges of Divergence. Explore uncharted waters with the Oath of the Open Sea Paladin. Unlock the arcane secrets of Hemocraft as a blood magic wizard. Defend the land from elemental chaos with the Ashari background. Or even come face to face with the legendary heroes of Vox Machina themselves. Complete with official stat blocks, portraits, and biographies detailing their lives 20 years later. The future of Tal'Dorei is in your hands now. How do you want to do this? Tal'Dorei Campaign Setting Reborn. Available now at Critical Role's shops. Hey Critters, Laura Bailey here. Let's see what's up in the Critical Role shop. I mean, the Traveler always says impulse purchases are a good decision. The cuteness, it's... <gasps> Overpowering. It's so cute. I can't handle it. Glorious. You need this? 
You probably need this. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. doing this right or oh sorry um am i doing this right you can also gift subscriptions to fellow critters so what are you waiting for start spreading that sweet serenity with a twitch subscription to critical role it's like a warm blanket oh, oh, hold on. it's my proctologist just give me a second okay hello hello, hello? Oh, hey, hey, Doc, yeah, what, what's up? What do you mean, more teeth? I thought you got rid of them all. Well, no, don't tell me to relax. I'm the one with teeth up my... Subscribe.
Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the second half of the show. We've got some fabulous guests in the midst of a heated battle royale um, to see who will win uh, access to the, the fulcrum paradox and win a wish for themselves in this alternate reality. Um, when we last left our characters, they were frozen in a state of sort of uh, mild stasis uh, as a halftime show was going on. Um, uh, during the halftime show, the, uh, the home audience has been experiencing a slickly produced show featuring the Western Orphans Chorus, singing about the importance of extra dimensional safety and wishing for world peace. Um, <laughs> during, uh, during the performance, it's still going on. Uh, uh, Garion uh, swoops down uh, and, along with an imp uh, cameraman, uh, decides to visit each of you. You're still frozen in, in state, um, but the, uh, the chorus concludes, uh, and Garion announces in his microphone device, weren't those kids fantastic? The song was fun, but also contained an important message. Always get your parents' permission before playing with any G Corp extra-dimensional toys. And if you don't, well, please don't sue us. I'm down here at ringside to talk with some of the contestants about how, they're, how they think tonight is going. Uh, first up, Fiera, um, how are you feeling about tonight's prospects? Is there a, is there a chance you're going to win? Can I move now? You can move your mouth. Oh, I, she's just like, all I see is just her teeth grinning and I'm trying to move towards him because she can't, I'm not, I can't, she's so angry. She leans in closer and says, uh, it really helps in situations like this if you would repeat the question in your answer. <laughs> uh, so something like, uh, how do I feel about my prospects? Well, let me tell you, Gary, something like that. So we'll take it again, all right, everybody? How do you feel about your prospects tonight? How do I feel about my prospects tonight? That's good. Well, let me tell you, Gary, I think I'm getting very, very excited about killing you. Ooh, that feisty, fiery spirit. I like it, I like it. Uh, he moves over to Sprig, who's on the ground. Now, Sprig, um, I was gonna ask you who's your biggest threat, but it seems to be yourself. <laughs> um, what's going on? Why, why, why hasn't the fighting spirit sort of taken hold of you yet today? What's going on, Fiera Rai? Give us the question back to us. <laughs> I think you may have misunderstood the instructions here. I love him so much. Uh, what? Let's just say, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks at home? Is there anything you'd like to say to the <laughs> folks at home? All right. Thank you. I like this sort of thing. I've never felt more alive, close to death. Thank you very much for this unique and wonderful experience. Hm. All right, we'll have to cut some of that down in post. Um, <laughs> He makes his way over to Neela, angling the camera down on her on the ground. Uh, Neela, what has surprised you so far tonight about, uh, about this contest? I am surprised that no one has died. That makes two of us, Neela. <laughs> <laughs> I was really hoping about halfway we'd be down to the last two, maybe three, but we're still riding strong at five. I'm supposed to kill all of you but one tonight, and I have my work cut out for me. Thanks for your honesty, and, uh, and please, a, a lot more of those intimate moments, if you can, in the second half. Uh, Garion moves over here and grabs Kashaw on the ground. Now, Kashaw, if you win tonight, and it's looking likely since you're the only one who seems to want to dole out damage. That's true. What will you use your wish to accomplish? Oh, you know what they say, if wishes were dreams, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I hadn't heard that. Mm. Yeah, it's that an old one. saying. Um, you know, we, this is a family show. Oh, so I'm sorry, fuck your family too. <laughs> Maybe we'll just take one more of these. Is there anything that you want to say to your supporters at home who are rallying behind you and uh, want you to win? I sure do. I'd like to say thanks for rallying behind me and help me fuck Garrington's family. <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Is any of that usable? I guess I Guess we'll cut around. Uh, then Garrion wanders a bit. <laughs> Tova! <laughs> Tova! Yeah. Oh sort of drawn to your sound of your voice, comes over this way, not looking in your direction, just sort of staring out. 
It looks like Tova's like face down on the ground, so I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's just kind of panning around. <laughs> Tova, if you can hear me, uh, what what is one thing you're planning to do in the second half to sort of uh, win win this match? Um, I really have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> um, is there any higher power you'd like to rely on for this fight? Uh, some sports people rely on a higher power. No, no, I'm just gonna probably uh, just figure it out as it go. Just, just. When are we gonna see you in? Uh, when are we gonna see you in that uh, that exciting bear form? Might not. <laughs> Oh God. Oh God. All right, all right, just cut, just wrap it up, just wrap it up. <laughs> um, Garion teleports back, um, and you find yourself uh, unfrozen uh, as Garion announces, all right, we're back for the second half of this epic plunder games. Remember, only one can make their wish come true. Who will be written into the pages of the history books? And who will be written off forever? Find out when we resume in three, Two, actually hold one second. He pauses the action again. The cameras stand down. The audience is confused. And he whispers, he uh, draws a, a small metal device and whispers into it. Um, Kashaw, you can hear in your head only. Mm. What's it gonna take for you to end this? I'll give you anything you want. Do I answer? You can answer back. You on the battlefield. Oh, I didn't hear that. <laughs> None of us uh, no. Why don't you <laughs> roll a persuasion check? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Uh, let's see. My persuasion is not great. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Eight. Mm. Sorry, my friend. <laughs> you can't afford this face down there. It's too valuable. But think about it, and if you have a request, let me know. I want these folks to go down, and go down fast. That's what uh, your wife said. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> she stood me up at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, Did the children's in... choir come back ever? Oh, they they, uh, they exited the arena. Oh, that's a pity. They were good. But there's uh, you actually roll a perception check. Okay. That's uh, six. Uh, it doesn't matter from where from where you're sitting. You can actually see a, a few of them are still in the audience, and one of them uh, was one of the ones that held up the sign. They've been given you know choice mm -hmm. VIP seats for the rest of the, the bout, and so they're That's they're sort of over in this in this We're area. World Panda. peace will never cease. <laughs> Come on and sing about world peace. I'm your uncle. You can be my niece. <laughs> sing about world peace. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm having a read. Now I'm starting to read. You know I went for decisions. him first. <laughs> yeah. That was the song they sang. I really liked it. Um, I just changed some of the words a bit and the tune, the melody, and all of it. Gary and <laughs> leans over. Is that a licensed song? Are we going to have to pay for that? <laughs> Does anyone know? Uh, because of your interviews, let's all roll a, another charisma check to just see how the audience is responding to your actions. Oh, oh wow. Uh, Hates me. Mila, what you get? 19. Aw. 16. Okay. 19's good, Sprig. 16's good. Five. five. Oh, wow. no. five. Okay. And a six. I cannot six. find Ooh. a D20 that is working for me. Okay. Do you want to borrow one? No. I, I just wasted up. a 19. There we go. My, my go to is like really fucking me over today. Hmm, interesting spread here. Um, all right. Uh, Gary and counts it down. All right, everyone. Top of the initiative order in three, two, one, resume! All right, Sprig, you're up. What would you like to do? You find yourself knocked prone. I would like to stand up, please. That takes half your movement, but you're a rogue, so you got plenty more. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, if I could, is it possible to run and leap over the lava? It sure is. I don't know how running works, or I mean, sorry, jumping works. I should have looked during half the break. <laughs> didn't, they say, didn't they say it was half our movement? Sure, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I'm going to try that and, okay. and leap closer. Uh, so you would use your bonus action to dash because mm -hmm. your movement can only really get you to the edge. All right. And then let's have you roll an acrobatics or athletics check to oh, see if you can make it across. D20. Okay. This will be fun. It is an 11. Okay, plus ath Let's athletics or acrobatics you can check. Let's see. And where would I find uh, that? On top of the uh, abilities. Is there? Acrobatics. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, wow. So it's an 18. Oh, yeah. snap. Plus seven. All right. As you run up, you can hear in your head some of the children start chanting, Sprig, 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 Sprig. Sprig. And they do it so well because they rehearse a lot together. So it's in perfect unison <laughs> as you take a ballerina esque leap across the lava, even doing a spin mid air Sprig leap. and landing in a perfect, uh, perfect three point landing on the other side. That's your action. I'm sorry, that's your movement and bonus action. You still have an action if you'd like. May I bow? To, uh, to the which audience. Direction? To the audience? All right. Uh, make a performance check. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is my bow. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh God! <laughs> oh! Well, he's falling in Ten. the lava. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 15. World peace. World peace. I don't want to be deceased. World peace. Uh, that is a nine. Uh, plus, plus performance, which is plus zero for you. You make an awkward bow, but the leap was so yeah. outstanding that it still uh, engenders some uh, some applause from the audience, especially the kids. They really liked it a I lot. I step on my beard. And, and fall a bit, but I do right myself. Oh, it's a nice little pratfall. Indeed. All right, that's Sprig's turn. Um, uh, Neela, you're up. Hmm. I'm... Oh, uh, I should have said at the top of this, you do realize, uh, you do notice all of you, uh, during that earthquake, those two orb things oh, yeah. shot up, and now they're glowing with uh, arcane light. That's all. All right. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's fine. I'm sure. It's probably just to illuminate yeah. the stadium. Yeah. Sure, it'll be fine. I think I'd like, well, I'd like to get up and I'd like to wild shape into a giant frog and leap over the lava river. <laughs> All right. <laughs> giant frog. In frog form. A giant frog. Wow. Is that a real thing? Who knows? Yes, it is. Okay, oh. great. I don't have a frog. Yeah. Here. No, no, I mean, <laughs> I don't have a frog mini, so we're gonna do uh, a giant spider instead. Okay. Um, and you- jump Spiders there. jump? You yeah. Leap mm -hmm. over oh, I can do a spider. There you are on the other side. It's a frog that looks like a it's spider. It's so fancy. It's just a um, frog. It, it, to turn into um, that, uh, the wild shape, is, is that your action or is that? That's, I think that's my action. Right. As an action, you can magically assume, yes. Okay, so that was your action, and you moved. I don't think uh, this frog has any bonuses, so that'll be it for your for your everything. Um, Fiera. Oh, God. You're up. All right, well, everyone's headed over there, um, and I don't know where Tova is. Is, uh, is that one, two? So everybody's over there besides my invisible friend. Well, Tova's, uh, Tova's who knows where she is. Yeah, she's invisible. Face I got, planting I got on no, the ground. I got no clue where she is. I see. Th that other uh, spot with the little island looks very close. Is that accurate, or is that? It's accurate. You mean this little thing here? Yeah. So theoretically, could I easily, like, without having to do a roll? There's a lot of debris in here that you could probably, you know, double leap off of. But There's, like, would I still have to roll? For... You still have to roll for everything in Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> but but you you won't be making a 15 foot leap. It would be much easier probably if you tried to use some debris. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna. So do. you're gonna do a, a leap over and try to aim on some some debris. Some stuffs. Okay, roll an acrobatics or athletics check um, to see if you make it across. Oh, I make it across. Uh, that's a 19. 19 plus stuff. Uh, not only do you make it across, I'm going to say that you you do it backwards, oh. and just sort of like Show wow. as you as you <laughs> land. Uh, that'll be your movement, let's say. Oh, um, really? And you'll, I'll give you still an action. Why not? Um, you rolled so high. God, okay. If I'm not trying to kill people, what am I fucking doing? I don't doing know what anyone's trying to do if we're not trying <laughs> Me to kill people. <laughs> He's right after me, right? Who's he? Kesha. Um, is it pronounced Kesha? Like cashew? Depends who you Kesha. ask. It's Kesha, but everyone Kesha. says Kesha or Kashu or Brother Cash. Or K Money. Ha. Hey, I'm going to call you K Money. Um, Deuter in the sky. 
Yes, that's me. Um, on a platform. So, so okay. So I could... he's on a he's on a. Uh, it looks like it's a uh, an actual physical platform um, with a couple of uh, clockwork devices to control cameras and to talk to his crew. Uh, it does float. There's nothing underneath it propelling it. It's not. It's not uh, jettisoned with like uh, fuel or anything like that. And you know what? Make a quick perception check if you if you can. Let's just roll a d20. Add your uh, or, and and make a perception check. No, no, I perceive shit. What did you roll? Uh, ten. Well, that's good. Plus five on perception. No, you... that's a ten. I rolled a five and oh. it's a ten. <laughs> uh, oh. uh, you don't see much more than that. Um, okay. Just that he's talking to his crew. Um. The rocks in front of me. Yes. Is there actually lava on them? That I'm seeing like little. There's drip, little drip, bits. Drip. You might be able to avoid it if you climb deftly enough. And that's halfway up there, which takes me to 15, and it's 30. I I would like to uh, climb. You're gonna climb the rocks. Yeah. All right. Um, let's roll another acrobatics check. You're good at that. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not today. <laughs> uh, that's an eight total. An eight total. Uh, plus acrobatics, you've got plus six. No, it's to... eight total. Oh, jeez, you're <laughs> the worst. Yeah, I'm, so she's so she's so confused by what to do right now that she's just rattled. She and gets she... up about five feet, and then the next handhold seems to have a bunch of lava splatted on it, and she just doesn't want to keep going. So she's going to have to rethink it and, and plan yeah. another way up. So she's maybe about five feet off the ground right now. Um, that's probably it for your yeah. your turn. Uh, Kashaw, K Money. What'd you like to do? I'd like to stand up. Done. Is that my is that my move? That's half your movement. And then I'd like to come to the other side of the flaming lava pits there. Uh, what does that mean? Where are like here? like here, but kind of you know like here. So okay. I have line of sight, but I'm still I have, I have some barrier. Some. Okay. Yeah, you're you're there ish. Okay. Um, maybe a little closer. That's your movement. I like to do a second level guiding bolt at Fiera. Ooh, this is the stuff I like. Uh, go ahead. We gotta get this party started, bro. Go ahead and roll um, a streak of light, uh, streaks towards the creature of your choice. Make a ranged spell attack against said target. Come on, one good roll. Yes, there we go. Uh, do I add my proficiency? You add uh, plus seven. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, then, okay, great. Then we're at 25. I assume that's above your AC, so that hits. Roll for damage. It's 5d6. However, you, you is rolled that this right? at level three? Two. Two. Level three guiding bolt is 5d6. However, however, as a reaction. Yeah. Because <gasps> I knew he was around the corner, and this guy's coming eventually. As a reaction, I hold up, I'm holding on one way, and I hold up one arm, and my tattoo flares. Okay, okay. And it flares brighter gold, and I absorb half the damage that comes at me. Nice. Oh. Okay. That is some sick ink, yo. Uh, Do I have to roll for you damage? You still have or? to roll for damage, 5d6. So I get, what's five, wait, 5d6 I get. Just roll a d6 five times. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say, all right. I can just roll five, can I? Yes, if you have them. He has them. I do. I do. He's been planning for this. <laughs> oh, not bad. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Nine. 18 points. Slams into your forearm, which <laughs> sucks half of it in. It still glows red hot and stings, but you only take nine points of damage. Um, frustrating for you, Kashaw. Yeah. That's your movement and your action. Do you have anything else you want to try? Um, is that it? I think I can disengage. Can I? Can. can no, I think I'm good. I'll be. I'll be good right there. Think, uh, yeah. No, I think I'll be good right there. Okay. The cameras all move into position, trying to get this sweet action. Gar Garion is excited. Finally, mm -hmm. last. I feel like the first half was a wash. It's all right. We'll, we'll make it up in the second half. Um, next up is Tova, wherever right. they may be. Well, I'm going to stand up first. Okay. And back. I believe I am going okay. to chug my ouchy ointment. Chugging the ouchy ointment. Yep, yeah, yeah, so that I will heal me 2d8. Awesome. Go ahead and roll to see how much you heal. 
No. Yeah, no. Okay, I always get yeah. those two mixed up. Eight. Yeah. Six. That's amazing. Yeah, that's not bad. All right. I, I don't uh, know where you are, support. but that seems like it would help a lot. Yeah. That's going right. to be your action. That's my action. You've also um, used half your movement. You have a bonus action and a little bit do, more movement. I do, I do. Um, I would like to start moving quietly towards one of these orbs and see if I can get a better look at it sure. and what it might do to um, us. It's a happy healing orb. Over yeah. here, maybe-ish, sure. Um, you, uh, you, as you look up uh, at the orb, nothing jumps out at you. Um, uh, there's no, it doesn't look like there's, a, there's any switches or levers around it. It's just a, a glowing arcane orb, um, probably about the size of well, it's about the size of your head, um, maybe a little bigger, and yeah, it's just kind of pulsing, sitting there, okay. uh, not not making any sound or anything. Back to the top of the round, um, Garion is going to fly his podium over to the middle here, so he can really get a good uh, view of everything, and it'll be Sprig's turn. Sprig, how you feeling? I would like to run uh, 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 to my frog friend. Okay. Uh, he runs towards the frog friend. That's right. as far as you can get on one movement. What I would like to do, because I have this. What's that I, now? This is a potion of premium wellness. Oh, okay, you're gonna heal your frog? No, I'm going to throw it to you. Okay. Because you see, my wish was to be remembered for a simple selfless act of kindness for a stranger. I get my wish. <gasps> Someone kill him already! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sprig. Here I am, trying to protect you, and you were the one who helped me. <laughs> you guys, the good news is that someone's dead because I just died from that one. Yeah. I just like, I, he just slayed me. Just, I'm slayed. He slayed me. He just slayed me. He just slayed me. He just, the I, children I all start humming in harmony <laughs> from the audience, uh, swaying like... back and forth. They loved the act of kindness. <laughs> Um, that's your movement and, I would say, action to, to throw. Yeah. Uh, you can still do a bonus action if you want to move well, some I, more. Or I help. ask you, then, what am I playing for? I have gotten my wish. <laughs> <laughs> Gary turns to his crew, this is death, I'm telling you. <laughs> He's killing us out but there. But it is not death, <laughs> is the point. <laughs> Let me see the ratings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check the ratings. <laughs> okay, they're holding steady. <laughs> but People like but they're not going up. I'll oh, tell you that much. So funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> Garion uh, doesn't quite know how to how to cover this. Um, he gets a whisper from one of his uh, crew members that the the family audience is actually slightly growing. <laughs> so he's gonna send a, he's gonna send a camera down. Oh. Just to just to be on Sprig in, in case he does any more heartwarming shit. <laughs> yeah. Any more adorable things? Um, we come Thank to you. the the lair's turn. I'll wave at the audience. Go, live your dreams, children. <laughs> oh, my god. oh my god! As he says that the beautiful sentiment, uh, you hear another rumbling uh, oh god. from from the ground. This time, it's not the ground that shakes; it's the lava itself seems to bubble over a little bit and pfft, just spray out a bit. Uh, everyone that's within uh, ten feet of lava, uh -oh. any lava, any lava, right. uh, may get sprayed a little bit. Um, oh, that is, Viera, okay. mm -hmm. Sprig, mm -hmm. the Frog. <laughs> Uh, there's a little. Uh, there's a little. Half damage. Yeah, let's let's say that you're in there too. Where's Cash? I'm behind right the rock. The Am I okay? There's, a, Boy, there's little, like little, little dribbles. Little bit of lava. I would dribbles say no to that one. Yeah, that's mm, the that's lava that I was source. avoiding. Come on. Um, this, all right, yeah, everyone, make a dexterity bad. save to see if you get spl splashed with a little lava. It's not going to be ten d ten. Is that a twenty? No, you're okay. Okay. Seventeen. Okay. And this is a dexterity save. Yeah. Eighteen. 18, 17. That's all, you, Boom. All, you all survive. Um, however, you do take half damage. Half it's not tons. Mm -hmm. It is eight reduced to four points mm. of fire damage. And I am fire for all resistant. Of us. So you get two points of fire damage. You get four points of fire damage. Four. Four points of fire. Are you still alive? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Um, <laughs> all right, all right. Next up is Neela. Um, I appreciate you giving this potion of premium <laughs> wellness to <laughs> me. I'm just going to give it back and forth. <laughs> I think you might need it more than me. I took four points of damage. Oh, wait, you're a frog. I don't think you can Okay, talk. dog! <laughs> oh, no! You can either no! dro you can drop your frog shape, or you can uh, you can try to convey this in, in sort of a ribbit-type language and hope that he has some sort of um, spell or okay. ability that can hear or understand animal languages. Uh -huh. I don't know if that, that's true. <laughs> can I, can I, I, I can't, I can't, um, can I, I want to jump? A uh, leap closer to Sprig. Mm -hmm. You're probably holding it in your mouth. Yes, yes. exactly. I want to leap closer to him. Sure. Not not a little bit away from the lava. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right there, right there. You're, you're I yep. say you're with, you're 10 feet away. And with the potion in in my giant frog's mouth, just jump up and down with as big a smile as I can probably uh, muster, and then um, spit out the potion. <laughs> And hope that it rolls right, right up to him. Uh, it certainly does. It, it lands in a big puddle of uh, of spittle, of, of frog spittle, right at at his feet. And you get the uh, the idea that this creature wanted you to have this potion, or it made her sick enough to throw it up. <laughs> oh. Do you think it's poison? I didn't mean to poison you. Oh dear. I thought I'd done something kind. <laughs> Can we hear this? Uh, you're close enough that you would hear some of this guilt trip action, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps I shall be the better man and accept the poison, should it. I'll, I'll pick it up and take it back. All right. Oh. <laughs> this, this is the hot player versus player action that you all tuned in for tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. The internet hates us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to keep a handy, keep his healing potion. Also, uh, to, no, to, to thank, I'll go. Oh. <laughs> Somebody get on the subtitles. Just make, get on the subtitles. Just make it, turn make it, it into something, something interesting. Like I hate you, I want you to die. Yeah, yeah I will drink your 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 guts and blood as, as as my dinner tonight. Something like that. Come on. Those of you watching at home, we just said huh? love and happiness, oh my God. peace oh my God. and love. That's how you win the day. Hooray! Also, children are our future, and and puppies love them. Also, <laughs> roll roll a performance check to see how this is being received. <laughs> it's five. <laughs> I could go on. You know, the warmth of a caterpillar. The sponsors, so the sponsors are leaving already? <laughs> just tell them, just give me five minutes. Just, just keep them on the line. Um. Believe! I put a sign that says believe up. It's written in crayon, but I stick it on some lava. All right, next up is oh, Fiera, I believe. Uh, 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 like now, my my head is ringing a little bit from all of that. Is uh, drinking a potion an action? A bonus action or a, what, what is it? Uh, I believe it's an action. I, I believe so. I'm okay. being nodded at by ND, which means I'm okay. probably right. Fair. Um, I am going to, um, <laughs> Hang on a second. Overdone. Yeah, I'm pissed. Uh, I'm gonna hop off uh, the rock and come around the corner. Uh, so he is in my so uh, Kshaw is in my line of sight. K money. K money. Like you want to be right up on him or? No, like... no, right there is fine. Okay. And. Uh, I am going to hold. That's the that's It's very dramatic for what's actually I happening. Know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just yeah. the hand, the healing potion <laughs> back and forth. <laughs> it's oh, me. damn it! Um. I'm just gonna come at him. I'm. I'm just. I'm just so mad. And I was like, right. I needed a foe. And come running at him, and I am just going to, uh, I just go straight at him with my staff, 
Uh, expanded. Go Great. straight at him with it. Staff spear fight. Thank Staff spear goodness. fight. And, Thank goodness. Uh, I and do, yeah. Yes, yes. As I do so, like a guy. I am also going to. Oh, that's not me. Hang on. Uh, I am also going to. Oh, wait, but I'm. She's been rolling well all night. Give me one bad roll. <laughs> no, I've had a few bad rolls. Just easy there, Jay Tiger. All right. Boom, I'll wait for this then. 13 plus. What do I add to it? Uh, this is your. Just my attack roll. So it's my strength? Uh. You're using what to, to hit? Sorry. My my staff. Oh, I think we said it was plus six to hit? Because that's my strength, that's plus six. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a 19. Okay, I, I assume that uh, is enough yeah, to make your... Yeah, my class is 17. Okay, so roll for great. damage. Great, and uh, when I do that, I'm also going to spend a key point yeah. to uh, Stunning Strike. Ooh, all right. So um, I shall make... You stunned until the end of your next turn if you fail a con saving throw at DC 13. Yes. Do so I roll for damage first or do I do that? Uh, you can go ahead and roll for damage because you hit, you have to roll a, a Above constitution. Above a 13. Yes, so what constitution. my constitution is plus you, three? Yes, I believe so. Uh, you're, yes, con plus, plus three for a save, yeah. 19. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's and not stunned, but you fine. do do significant damage. And I still can't remember, and I still can't find it. What uh, is my damage on I should my... have looked at this during the break. I, I think we said 1d8 plus 3, is that right? right. Or was that so someone else? For I don't my, know. That's oh. for, that's, that's <laughs> that's just, that's right to me. But that's just for my uh, attack. Yeah. My Okay. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, 1 plus 3, 4. Okay, great. But then I am also going to, uh, as my bonus action, Take another key point. I think your bonus action is to use the, the key, key point, point on the stunning oh. strike. I think. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm being told. It's not. <laughs> oh. You Just, can see, you can do two two no key, key points. No key one. points are not a, a bonus action. Keep going. I'm a yeah. monk. I got to do dope ass yeah. monk shit. Do I dope ass monk shit. Key points can you use? She's got, she's got like four, four um, key points to spend in the game. Uh, I do indeed have four more. So I am going to uh, uh, flurry of blows to make two more strikes. Do it. That is a ten. Two unarmed strikes, yeah. Two unarmed strikes, right. And that is a 24, 24. Okay, so, uh, first one, uh, Keshaw ducks just under this strike. Second one hits him square in the jaw. Roll for damage. This is 1d6 plus three. So I took four already, right? Correct. Or not yet? Yeah. I took four from the yeah. first yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, for, this right. is an interesting, oh, this, that's a d6. Look at that, it's like shape. I'll do the advertisements here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fancy, let's see how she rolls. Uh, that is a seven, right? One, oh, no, no, that is a six because it's plus three. Six One total? Plus three. Six total. Okay. Yeah. You take a big wallop to the jaw. <sighs> it stings. <sighs> Are you dead? No. no. Oh, uh, damn it. <laughs> I know. I've no, been, I'm not. I'm dead. really mad about that stunning strike. But um, that's okay. No, that's actual damage. I'm loving this. Um, Wait, this so is great okay. stuff. Keep it up. Kesha, you're up. I have a question. Go ahead. I will make up an answer. I can fly. Sure you can. Can I pick her up with my flight and drop her in the lava? Uh, you're a, a medium and she's a medium. I would say it would be a con some sort of a contested strength to see grapple if, thing. yeah, it's like a grapple. Right? Yeah. Okay. Grapple check, you'd have to roll a strength grapple-y type thing. Okay. <laughs> both, bo both roll strength and see what happens. Strength check. So just add your strength modifier, which for Fiera, uh, Fiera is plus three, and for Cash is plus four. 17. Fuck. It's 15. Okay. I'd so like you, to pick her up. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my pixie dust. And That's I'm gonna, your flying? I'm yeah. going to fly. Uh-huh. And I'm going to pick her up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's happening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> All right, and you're gonna fly her over? I can fly uh, 30 feet, so I wanna fly right over the lava. Uh-huh, there you go. You're right over that lava, and you're holding her tight. I wanna kiss her on the nose, oh. <laughs> and I wanna drop her ass right in the middle of the lava. Oh boy, okay. Wait, you, she's got a question. Use your action to, to activate that, uh, uh, that uh, the the spell, okay, the, so I don't have to the do item anything, right? you grappled, you carried, okay, uh, and you let go. 
However, sorry, what were you doing? I ask? have slow fall. That might help. Can I use that slow fall? Because I'm still holding my stick. Can I use that slow fall to slow my movement and potentially use the stick to get myself away from <laughs> the lava? That's very clever. You're, you, that's very clever. Did you say it was like 15, 20 feet wide, though? Yeah, but you're uh, where I placed her, she's pretty close to the edge. <laughs> um, let's go for it. Um, oh so you're going to use your reaction for slow fall. So he drops you. You are now falling but at a very slow pace, in slow motion, like you're falling through molasses. And you're gonna reach out with your staff and try to sort of bring yourself over to the edge and land safely on the ground. Go ahead and roll an acrobatics check to see if you can make this work. Natural 20. Oh, oh my god! Wow. Oh my god! I haven't cast my spell yet, though. I just used my action. Wait, what? That is, I, you're, and you're casting a spell is an action. Yes, it is. Is it really? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Sure, All right, sure. so uh, okay, what happens here? She falls slowly. Wow. She, she falls slowly, and she lands just on the edge, oh just God. getting a heel. <gasps> uh, the heel dips into the lava and scalds, but does not take any damage. Holy shit. Damn. Darian is furious. He punches Grody <laughs> in the chest, hurting his hand, taking. <laughs> Three points of damage. Oh my god. He, yeah, he, 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 he rips good off roll. his wig and throws it down, <laughs> revealing awful male pattern baldness everywhere. Um, he's uh, stomping like a maniac. Uh, he's so pissed off. You're fine. God damn it. <laughs> uh, that ends your turn. <laughs> Am I still? I'm still floating, right? You're still floating. Is he still floating above the lava? He is. How okay. long can you float? Okay. Wait. I float for. So, I can hover for over a minute. I have a question. What what interrupts? That spell, uh, probably a dispel magic, or uh, probably a dispel magic. I think. Is a spell? If he were oh, just hypothetically does. bound by some kind of blood curse, would that cause him to fall? I believe your blood curse binding uh, uh, makes him um, uh, ma makes him unable to move. Correct. Mm -hmm. So he would be just sort of hovering in stasis. All right, maybe not worth it. It's so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> that would we be had to get it trick. started. We had to get it started. Um, I can't believe you pulled that nat twenty. That was brilliant. Oh my god! Been rolling great tonight. Except the, the five the and the six and how, the five how, and the. How far above the lava would you say he is? Um, I would say he's ten feet above the lava. Okay. If one were to throw some sort of boulder into the lava and cause it to spray up. Might it hit him? <laughs> yeah, if you're if you find a significant far away. enough uh, boulder, you're pretty far. I am far. Away. All right, one last question. I promise. How far above is Grody and his um, the other one? Garion and Grody are Gro about Garian thirty feet up in the air on their floating platform of of fun. How tall would you say the standard bear is? Uh, <laughs> nine feet, eight and a half feet. But your reach How is long is my axe? Is your axe? Just I mean, it's not no 21 reason. feet long. <laughs> but it's a badass axe. It's, no, it's just I'm. I, this is sure, sure. Uh, maybe, maybe uh, two two feet long. Right? Two maybe feet. Two and a half feet. I, oh, great this axe. is the great big, axe. This the great is the big axe. battle axe. Then three feet long. Yeah. Three feet. I don't know distance. No. <laughs> Isn't this nine really inches? <laughs> you tell yourself that. Huh? No, it's you <laughs> telling yourself. Okay, that. all right. That's that's just I don't. Three know. and a half feet. I got nothing. I don't know. <laughs> Um, fuck it. I actually don't know. I'm too far away to really go anywhere. Uh, I don't really have any ranged options. Yeah. Fuck, I'm gonna get closer. To the orb or to Garion? To the action. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, um,. I'm gonna fucking use my blood curse of binding on uh, uh, Frank Kasha. Okay, um, you're gonna walk this way. Do 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 do. Uh, and blood curse of binding. Holy moly! This is stuff that I do not okay. know how it okay. works. Okay, let me help with that. So this um, as a bonus action, as a you can bonus attempt to bind action. this creature within 30 feet of you. He's up too. Keep in mind. Um. 
Oh, is there a is I've there got a, a thing? I've got a thing. I've got Matt's. I've got Matt's. <laughs> a limit to the. I've got Matt's thing. Who's this Matt you speak of? Who? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's not quite thirty feet. It's oh, it has to be within 40. thirty feet. Yeah. Oh. You, can, you could use uh, your your action to get closer because this is a bonus action we're talking about here. Okay. Um. Yeah. Thirty feet, you say? No, that wouldn't be enough. Okay, uh, I'll get bigger and and use the. You have the blinkers, I guess. The what? Who? What are you? The blinker. I'm gonna use the blinkers. <laughs> the blinkers. The blinkers. The blinkers. Oh, the, blinkers. <laughs> the thing that we were talking okay, about. Okay, so you're going to move a little bit closer. Yeah, and okay. um, and you and use the blood curse of binding. Okay, and go for it. Fuck it, let's amplify this shit. Oh yeah, um, yeah. The target must succeed on a strength saving throw, or have How? their speed be reduced to zero. Ever, I think. Would that stop the? Or you can amplify it. I wouldn't fall though. I'd just be paralyzed, right? Um, the amplify wouldn't allow you to automatically succeed on it. Uh, it would just make it work on a bigger creature. Oh well then. Um, so, yes, I think just a standard blood curse of binding in this in this scenario. Okay. Um, and you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna not do the blood curse yet. <sighs> Sorry. Take it back. We rewind the tape. Okay. Sorry. You still got an action and bonus action. You're you're under. Is that an action? Well, you haven't done anything yet. Right now, oh, you just yeah. moved and <laughs> were indecisive, and lost me thirteen thousand viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like no one is visible in this entire thing. Um, I am going to pick up a rock and huck it into the lava and see if I can hit okay. Cash with some of this. Let's say lava that you spray. use your bonus action to find the rock. Okay. So give me a investigation or perception check, whatever's better for you. Okay. Um, They're both pretty bad for you. They are not great. However, yes. Uh, so that's a 12. Um, okay. Your perception is plus two. Oh, you're right. Fourteen. Great. Thanks. Okay. You find a pretty significant rock, and you are a strength, a, a strength-based mm -hmm. character. Um, I'll save it for your action. Go ahead and roll a d20 to see if you can get that rock to Ooh. splash just how you want it to. So that's a strength check. A strength, yeah, just that plus strength, which is plus five. Twenty-two. Ooh. Nice. You huck that rock as hard as you can, angling it just right to try to splash something up ten feet. It's it, it's going to be tough, um, but he, and he's not frozen in place, but he is no. just kind of sort of hovering there. All right, let's see if, the, I think some of this works, and you take, ooh, 11 points what? of fire what? damage. Oh, it's a very I'm... clever mood. I, I move, I have to give it to her. What? However, in attacking Thanks, someone, come come on, that's right 11 away. points of damage for being splashed? Yeah, it's, it's lava. <laughs> what? It's lava, oh, plus lava. you're a healer, plus it's late in the game. What? That's what it is. <laughs> you want somebody to die. Toma you want blood. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> because you attacked someone, you lose your invisibility, I oh, believe. Right. Hello. Uh, so she pops back into view. Um, Garion uh, uh, yells at his camera people, why was no one covering that? I don't care if you can't see her. You have to have cameras everywhere, god damn it. All right. I think that the boulder also turned invisible while I was holding sure, it. Sure, sure. Um, all right, that takes us to the end of Tova's turn. We're at the top of the round. Um, Garion is getting excited. Uh, he's gonna swoop closer to the action over here, right over, right over the lava. Oh, oh really? Right over the lava. He's not scared. He's not scared of you people. Um, Sprig, you're up, I'm and you're hanging by on the by a thread. I'm standing by the lava. Yes, you are. Well, I will show you. You almost had me poison a friend. I will show you. I will dispose of this <laughs> the oh. best way I know how, and I drink it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The kids are so happy. <laughs> How much do you heal? That's, uh, which, was that it? Four. That's, that's four. Four, Ooh. that's eight. That's oh, 12. <laughs> that is 13 plus four. Uh, seven, that's 17. Gary and his furious. We're bad at Battle Royale. We're so <laughs> bad. Oh boy, I, I feel better. We're good at loving. That's <laughs> all. Ha, even your poison doesn't work. Ha ha, I say. And for good measure, I shall add another ha. <laughs> um, uh, on the Lair's turn, 
Um, oh, is, do you have any other? Is things? that is that my move? That's your action. You can also move uh, or do a bonus action. Uh, bonus mean, action uh, is not casting a spell of any kind, is it? Uh, no, unless it says so on your on your thing. I don't believe thing. so. No. Uh, uh, I shall. I shall. No. That was a big enough there. moment. Okay. Thank you. Uh, on the lair's turn, bubbling lava will bubble once more, striking anyone within ten feet, including Cash, who's oh ten feet above. Oh my god! There we go. Um, this will be it. Should be. Oh, uh, roll a dexterity save to see if uh, if it affects you. Oh, that's good. I can't see what if it's a fourteen or an eighteen. Oh, yeah, I thought it was a nineteen. I think it's it might be. I can't tell. No, it's a fourteen. But plus, plus. dex save. That's a plus two to you. Yeah. That's 16. 16. That's good. 16. Ooh, okay, half damage for both of you. And a half of that, because I'm fire resistant. Ooh. 14 halved to seven. I'm dead. <gasps> what? Yeah. How? I'm dead. This because I was down, you took me down to four with the 11 splash brought me down to four. I feel real bad about that. <laughs> I feel a little bad, but also not sure okay. what's going to happen now. Pixie dust. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't get how that works. It's not a magical spell, so right. you do not fall. No. You just are hovering above the lava dead. dead? Oh, nice. Knocked oh. out. Not, so well, am I down? You had like a death all these times. You're, death you're knocked right. out. Right. So now you have to start making death, death saves. Death saves, yes. yes. But you are not falling into the lava because the pixie dust is still working on you, regardless of whether you're conscious or not. It also, I don't know if this matters, but it says when the creature is airborne, when the effect ends, it falls safely to the ground, taking no damage, landing on his feet. So sure, but that's when the effect if, ends. Uh, yeah. But this is just an effect that your lifeless body is just hovering over the lava. Sweet. Okay, that's okay. Kind of metal. You're, when do, when you're I, don't do a, I don't do a death save until on my your turn. turn. Yeah. You do a gotcha. death save. Gotcha. Um, and you take, what, uh, what was that? It was Half 14 seven. halved to seven, halved again to three points of damage to you. Okay. Um, the crowd erupts in cheers. Finally, some Finally, action. Finally, somebody's dead. Uh, this is so <laughs> exciting for everybody. Um, that, oh, and then at the end of that turn, um, uh, Tarion, Garion, is going to unconscious. Is going to teleport and say, "Grody, take yourself down," and Grody teleports <gasps> down to the battle, um, mm -hmm. drawing a, a heavy uh, uh, battle axe, oh. ready to participate mm -hmm. should he need to. Um, next up is Neela's turn. Oh my! Um, he scares me. <sighs> Ribbit. <laughs> oh, I'm still. <laughs> damn it. Nice. I'm still concentrating, though. I still have call lightning. I still. Right, when I turn into Wild Shape, uh, I can still. Intermission killed call lightning because it can only last, I think, oh. for a minute or so, mm. but intermission was oh, a I full see. five minutes. I see. All right. Well, I'm going to try to. I'd like to cast Moonbeam. All right, nice. that sounds beautiful. On, on that. Grab a on Grody? Grody. On Grody? Yes. Uh, okay, great. Uh, Moonbeam is cast. Um, oh, wait. Before you uh, can cast a spell, you cannot cast a spell in your frog form. Oh, shit. Damn you, it. But you can, uh, you can drop it and, and turn back into Neela, the fur volg that we all love <sighs> and want to see die. I am going to ignore that comment. <laughs> And um, yes, dang it, I always want to, okay, I'm going to, I want to investigate this one, okay. this warp. So I'd like to rid hop it, up hop there? as far you, as I can. I think giant frogs can, can yeah, hop yeah, really yeah. well. Do you happen to know your movement speed as a giant frog? It's still only 30. Okay, but I'm sure there's no But it's a, but it's a standing leap and I can go up 20 feet. Oh, great, so. It's frog jump is up to 20, okay, you and can it's get high there, jump is up to 10, um, with or without a running start. And okay. you can, would you like to use your action to get all the way up to it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you jump all the way up to it. What would, how would you like to interact with this uh, object? Can I, can I jump on top of it? Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, as, you, as you jump on top of it, uh, the orb shifts color to a, a fiery red. Mm -hmm. And starts emanating a, a loud hum. Oh, uh -oh. Um, you, it's, it's still your, oh. it's still your intelligence as a frog. So you totally understand 
uh, what's happening, you get a sense, a feeling, a sensation of power. Your whole body warms up a little bit and seeming to come both out of the orb and kind of out of yourself, uh, flames and smoke appear beside you and a giant fire elemental appears oh, right next to you. It turns to you, <laughs> snarling, and then bows its head to you, <gasps> requesting orders. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. I should have pondered that order. <laughs> oh, man! Your oh, own pet goodness. fire elemental! Well done, Froggy. Wow! wow. You should call him Rowdy. I On can't talk, Rivet. <laughs> uh, it's it seems to uh, well, I don't know. You can you can try to communicate with it uh, oh, without yeah. speech if you'd Pantomime, like. Perhaps. I mean, it's yours. Um, I feel like you should. Be oh. Okay. Well, now can I? Now can I? Oh, that was my action. I can't wild shape. I can't come out and talk to it now. You can all. You can always oh. drop. I think that's a free action to drop wild shape. Or can I? Can I? I'd like to try to communicate with it, with my with my druidic focus, my my. Thing. Sure. Is that... Are you thinking at it yes, or ribbing at it? Yes, I'm gonna think. It? I'm gonna. Okay. Uh, oh, dang it! I'm sorry. I'm so confused. Um, I'm gonna rib. No, I'm gonna rib it at it, and I'm gonna okay. rib it at it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try my best. What's that guy's name again? Grody. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Grody. Kill Brody! <laughs> roll, roll a performance check to see how that comes out. Did it work? Did it work? Oh, no, it should, because no. it was good. Got rolling points as well. <laughs> 12 well, wait, plus. Wait, you, yeah, performance. 12 plus. Uh, uh, you, uh, you have plus two plus to performance. Two. Yes. Uh, the fire elemental <laughs> looks down, looks back at you, and growls. <sighs> Uh, and takes off, shooting down with its 50-foot speed. <gasps> oh! <laughs> 40, 45, 50, it can get right up to Grody. Um, and then, boy, how does this thing work? <laughs> Multi-attack, two touch attacks. Oh my god, it's strong. Oh. Okay, <laughs> here we go. First one fails. Second one is a hit. Uh, Causing uh, five plus three, eight points of fire damage. Grody is completely uh, uh, surprised by this turn of events. He looks up helplessly to his uh, to his master, Agarian, who is if you, there's so many veins popping out of his forehead at this point, he's he's having a conniption. He's so furious. But Grody takes uh, a little bit of damage there and is now, I believe. Uh, on fire. <laughs> got your mm. own fire elemental. That's I've never pretty had an awesome. Elemental. May I see? All right. Uh, that was Nila. Cool. Um. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh. I am going to. Uh, let's finish him. I'm, I'm, I'm down already. No, not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's bloodthirsty. I thought she was coming for me again. Uh, I, why is this not loading? I lost my page. Um, I am going to use, uh, how far, how far away is Grody from me? Uh, you are, boy, unless you want to walk through lava. I don't. 30 feet, but you, it's, it's a tight squeeze back there, but yeah, you could probably get right next to him at 30 feet. I don't want to get right next to him. I want to get within 15 feet. You can do that pretty him. easily. The camera people uh, zoom away. Get those out of my way! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, ma'am! Uh, Talent coming through! Uh, <laughs> Flying in! <laughs> I'm gonna put my, my, my staff on my back, rub my hands together, hold them out, and just start screaming. And I, sorry, microphones, I should have warned you. No, and then uh, cast Burning Hands. In his direction, in the, the cone in his direction, making sure that it is not hitting, hitting sprig. sprig. Okay. Um, and you know, ideally not hitting the fire elemental, even though it's made of fire. So I don't think it would have touched. Sure, sure, sure. But sure. I don't want the fire elemental to think I'm attacking it. Uh, great. Um, uh, roll to hit. Roll a, a d20 to hit. It just says each creature in 15 foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> uh, okay, then I will roll a dexterity saving throw. He rolled a natural 20. Oh. Um, oh. But does he take it to half damage? He takes half damage. Okay. Uh, which is 3d6. Oh, still pretty good. Still pretty good. That's a 
that's a one. That's because I rolled the wrong dice. It's a four, it's five. five four, nine. Nine points of fire damage. Grody uh, takes a fireball straight to his face. Again, he is not, he was not planning on fighting in this fight at all. He's an announcer. He's like, he's like the Ed McMahon of this event. <laughs> and he's down there getting hit in the face with fire multiple times. Uh, Gurion, what am I supposed to do? Uh, Kashaw, make a death saving throw. So it's just a d20, right? Yes, and you have to roll 10 or higher. Oh. Is that right? 13. Okay, right. one save, mark it down. Uh, you're still unconscious. Next up is Toba. Hey, Sam, one more question. Hey. What's my <laughs> jumping height? She's jumping. What? This is the bane of my existence. Height? I think it's half your walking speed. That's what I said Whoa, before. Really? I can jump 12 and a half feet? 12 and a half feet. So, all right. If by any chance I were to be twice my normal size, would that also be doubled? Yes. I am going to. Fry bear. I am going to drink <laughs> bear. my grow and show potion. Yes. And as I begin growing, I am going to use my bonus action to turn into a wear bear. Here it comes. As okay, okay, you down the potion. <laughs> bonus action, wear bear. Okay, okay. So I mean, I put your wear bear form out here. But it oh, is yeah. a. It should be an eighteen. But foot now, but tall. now you are a doubled size wear bear. An eighteen foot tall wear bear <laughs> who apparently can jump oh, at least oh, yeah. twelve oh, feet. Oh, yeah. He's got something prepared. <laughs> Uh, oh boy. <laughs> awesome. Wow. You, you just used Hold a lot of actions and bonus <laughs> actions to do that. Now you want to move and jump. Yes, because jumping should be within my movement, right? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's say yeah. We don't uh, have time, so saying yes. <laughs> I just kind of want to knock Garyon off the platform. Off his, off his, yeah. metal, yeah. Off his pedestal? I just want to smash into him. I'm not trying to attack him. I just want to hit him with my bulk and, and try to knock him down onto the... Okay. Okay. I'm going to allow this because... Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, all right. If I die doing it, then uh, like... You run up leaping to try to hit uh, Garion off of his pedestal. Go ahead and roll an attack. A D20. Ooh. Isn't that... All right. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, is it plus your strength or is it plus? Uh, oh, yes, plus strength. Uh, well, this is leaping. You, uh, you can make a acrobatics check if you'd like. Okay. Or or athletics, whatever is better for you. Oh, right. oh take your athletics. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit. You're right. 16. 16. Oh, great. Okay, great. So you're going to jump up and try to knock Garion off his pedestal. Yes. He could fall I mean, in the lava, couldn't he? Could. I mean, look at the size. That's a big old werebear. <laughs> Boy, I should have made stats for Gary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Let me go to my D and D Beyond. Create a character real quick. <laughs> um, all right. He got six hit points. He, he rolled. He rolled really well. Okay. Um, to to save on this, um, I'm going to say that it's a dexterity save. Um, where is my Tarion character? I'll just go off of that, <laughs> off of those stats. Um, all right. Ooh, he has lousy dexterity, but he still rolled really high. Okay, I'm gonna say that you uh, you don't quite make it to Garion, but instead you do grab onto the podium oh, and pull it down. Uh, it's still held aloft by magic, but it is now wobbling, okay. herky jerky, uh, all over the place. Uh, he is managing to hold on to it, but it is very precarious. Oh, shit. Um, and you could possibly climb up on the next turn, or you could possibly <laughs> knock him down on the next turn. But right now, wow. you are hanging on for like dear this. life. <laughs> and he is also wow. skidding left and right. It's like an episode of Star Trek. He's like, ah, <laughs> ah. The whole bridge is being shook. Um, and he calls out, uh, Grody, Grody, help me, help me. Um, all right, uh, <laughs> that ends like, Toba's turn. It is Garion's turn. Um, oh boy. <laughs> uh, Garion does have the teleport ability. Um, so he will use it. Okay. 
He will use it on his turn to teleport. Oh, uh, boy. Where is he going to teleport? He's going to go uh, right here, um, calling his imp camera people to try to protect him. That'll be his action. Boy, I don't even know what else he can do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, all right, all Cut right, Tyrion. Uh, <laughs> yes, you know what? I, he call he calls out to his crew. Cut to commercial. Cut to commercial. But they can't. They're being flung about on the podium with all the controls. They can barely hold on. They can't get to that button to press to go to, to go is to commercial. They, there's all sorts of controls up there oh, that control fuck. control uh, the oh. the workings of the show. Um, oh. <laughs> I'm a frog, too. Um, yeah. Damn. I'll, I'll also roll for the imps up there to see Can if they stay on. One Can does. I think I can talk. The okay. other does not. So one imp falls off. Uh, another imp is up there controlling. The controls are desperately trying to get to them wow. to cut to commercial. That's Garion's turn. Sprig, Can you're up and shop, somehow boys. you're still alive. How far away are you from me? Uh, okay. <laughs> 35, 40 feet. Oh, so, so okay. But you, you're a fast motherfucker. You can move close. All right, I'll try to jump over the lava. Okay, there's a nice little spot here you can. Jump All right. Here's Cash's dead body. Oh! <laughs> can he? I mean, I don't hate it. I, oh. But I do. That's not. Yeah. I'll, I'll jump right. there, and I can jump you, and cast. You do notice that Cashaw's yeah. uh, vestments. Uh, there is a, a small <laughs> rope dangling from one of them uh, down down there. Could there, I there, use it to swing over? You could. Yes. I'll try to use it to swing over. Okay, roll an acrobatics check with advantage. Okay. Yes. Let's see. That is a twenty. Oh, a natural yeah. twenty. Okay, a natural twenty. Grab onto Cash's vestment and are able to do a loop de loop. Landing right in front of Gary and Garrington. And I can cast? You still have your action, oh, yes. Geez. Tasha's hideous laughter. Hideous laughter? Oh my god. All right, what is the save? I think it's a, f a 15 wisdom. Let's see. Revolt! <laughs> what are you doing? See. Hideous laughter. Uh, but, but, yes, it is a wisdom save. Wisdom 15. 15. Come on, Garion. He rolled, he rolled a natural 20. Wow! <laughs> oh, wow. Damn it! Yeah, uh, how do you try to make him laugh when you get over there? By telling him the sad story of my existence. <laughs> he is such a jaded entertainment professional <laughs> that nothing phases him at this point. You, uh, you explain uh, yes. all of this and I he... I was trapped. I, I did it to myself. I locked myself away for years and years. Wouldn't you find that the slightest bit humorous? You twisted evil being? I would find it humorous if I could shoot it because it, it's very robust in its storytelling and backstory. Yes. But you saying it, you have to show. On television, you have to show. You can't just say, you have to show. <laughs> and this is just words, it's not, it's not working for so me. So we're bonding now over an idea for a new show is what you're saying. Are you pitching me right I'm now? I'm pitching you <laughs> right now. <laughs> I have, you have to set up an appointment. Oh. Have to, I have reps for this. Do you have reps? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, my. Uh, uh, sure. We'll put something on the books for next week, I all right? I love it. I do. <laughs> all right, not, not right Truth now. Truth be told, I might not survive, <laughs> but you and I should probably meet. Oh, we'll get something on the books, I yes. promise, after Sunday, I got, all right? I got a smile <laughs> wand. And I'm telling you, the audience won't need a smile wand for what we're planning. Oh, all right, give me a pitch deck. You got it. Um, that, <laughs> ends, that ends your turn. Uh, we're on to the lair's turn. The lair is once again gonna oh, bubble. Fuck. Oh boy, Kashaw. Can, can I even make it? I can't even make a dex throw, can I? Uh, no, you cannot. You are you automatically fail them. But the uh, the. The lava bubbles, so anything within 10 feet, including Spriggy, oh, including no. Cash, including Fiera, including Grody, <laughs> uh, and, and including Tova in giant form. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, all, everyone make a dexterity save, except for you. I'm making one just for the hell of it. Grody fails. One fail. One fail. 21. That's 21. success, success. Oh, okay. 20. Okay. <laughs> 20. Oh, um, okay, you, uh, you just, like, oh, let me see how much damage. Nice. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. 18 points of fire damage. Uh, you 
I think take two save death saves uh, immediately. Like you, you fail two death saves immediately. Immediately, okay. I so think I don't know, is... or is it just it's one death nine. save? We could check say chat, that. Check that. Check nope. Check nope. Chat. I'm being told. Nope, just one death. Okay. Save. Uh, <laughs> so one fail. One fail. Got so it. we'll so that eight. for if you succeed. Uh, if you succeed, it's nine points of fire damage. For you, it's four. Um, but Grody takes all of it. Oh. And and if we failed, it's nine points. Yes. Okay. Um, Did you succeed? Grody's looking rough. Was, um, <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, all right. Gr uh, Grody may may not be a lot around much longer. Oh, no. um, okay, Neela, you're up. Okay, what's the situation now with with you? I just hang in the air above a lava pit until I can roll three life saves, or I have three fails. I have two more fails or two more life saves, so I'm just there at this point. I'm just roasting like a marshmallow, slowly, <laughs> slowly oh, over a pit of do, lava. You do notice and that like his skin is browning yeah, a slowly, little bit. Slowly starting to roast. I'm getting a nice golden brown. Oh yeah, right you're now. probably rotating because of spring. Because of spring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're just sort of as long as it's being rotisserie, evenly, evenly cooked, it's fine. Uh -huh. Um, and I can I can command this. Yes, guy? you can. On your turn, you can command it to do whatever you'd like. It can move up to uh, 50 oh, feet I, and attack twice. I, I, do you think he still remembers my 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 awesome frog? You get the um, sense that it wasn't the, the riveting as much as your mental connection with oh, it. Oh, okay, that, okay, great, great, great. Controls it. Uh, so what would you? I would like him to finish off. Grody. Grody. All right, and it will make two slam attacks. Success. Success. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and these are two. These are two d six plus three. Ooh, two sixes. And a three and a six, plus another six. Oh my god. How would Fire Elemental oh, like to yeah! do this? Yeah! Fire Elemental goes up, picks up Grody. <gasps> boom, boom. And like the flames start to engulf Grody and slams him, throws him with all its might into the lava. Amazing. Uh, Grody, in, in his robotic masculine narrator, narrator voice says, please, don't do this to me. I'm just the sidekick. I'm programmed. <laughs> you see his robotic hand reach up as it slowly sinks under the lava uh, as he howls in robot language, uh, dying dead. Does he do the Terminator too? He does. <laughs> <laughs> he does indeed. Uh, Grody is dead. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Grody didn't do anything. <laughs> no, he <laughs> really did. I do, I mean, I don't know if it'll help, but can I do like a little druid? Oh, oh I can't do anything while I'm a frog. Dang it. Uh, I want to do you a little You can unfrog at any moment. Yeah, but frog. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but frog. But frog. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> She's committed to this frog. Right. Fieta, you're up. Yeah, I'm gonna back away from the uh, uh, lava smart, a smart. hair, just a hair, because I should have done that the last time. Uh, and I'm gonna take this uh, potion of wellness. Okay, great. Let's uh, see how many hit points you are restored. <laughs> oh shit, all that time. This is a D4, not a D6, and I was rolling this as a D6. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I'm very happy about that. I was still. It's nice of you. Four. Okay. And three. Seven plus two, nine. So I'm going to get nine, nine hit points, points of back. Nine. One, two, three, six. Great. Uh, and then. That's the um, children's chorus singing oh that from the I audience. Love, they're so into so it, and they much. love they're spring. So <laughs> okay, and then bonus actions. I can. <laughs> what can I do? Is yes, you notice. Bonus. You notice over there that there are now 15, 16 <laughs> signs. Some of them just say S P R I. <laughs> they're unsure how many G's are at the end, so there's like four of them. <laughs> um, can I use the rest of my movement to get back across to the other side? Uh, to the other side. Of the lava? Um, do I have enough movement? Well, you you had said that you would move this Just way. Just backed up a little bit, yeah. Un undo that, you can certainly run and jump across if you make yeah, a, let a me, let me do that athletics with, check. Well, can I use the the uh, the springboard? That we have. Is there anything that I can use to make In it across In this span, easily? there is no springboard. There's just well, there's, there's, there's just swingy dude. Oh yes, cash. yes, you can use cash. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. So roll with advantage. Okay. Roll again. with advantage. Okay. So eight plus six is fourteen, or twenty-three. 
Oh, 23 for sure. Uh, Cash, you don't feel uh, a not. tugging on you as well as Yetta <laughs> leaps over. Now, uh, when Cash stops spinning this time, his head is just angled straight down at the lava. Yes! Um, uh, all right, <laughs> like, you made it across. You used a potion, that's your action. Right. Um, what, What? do you have any bonus actions? I do have bonus actions. I don't know what I'm allowed to use after just a dodge, no. <laughs> Some danger dash, no. Jeez, and I'm striking, I can't do that. <laughs> um, can, I, can I use my, oh no, I can't move anywhere. I'm just right there, I'm assuming. Uh, um, but I'm behind Sprig? You're behind Sprig. Damn. Uh, no, I can't do anything then. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try. If I can get it a little farther from the lava, I would like to, but I don't know if that's an option. You can't get with, uh, you can't get more than 10 feet away. Okay. That's probably, it's right. probably up that's for your fine. movement. Okay. No bonus? No bonus. You can do um, a bonus dash to. Uh, but then I have to use up a point, and I don't want to use up a point. Okay, got it. Unless that's a thing that I can do as a bonus action in Boy, life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this, this lovely thing on D&D Beyond will tell me. Yep. Uh, no. No, it is not. I cannot. I would have to use a key point. Um, okay. That's it for Fiera. Um, it's up to Kasha to roll a death save. I'm going to need everybody's help here, real quick. Just Kasha's roasting on an open fire. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Here we go. It's definitely. 15. All right. Yay. Yay. Okay. I can't believe we never wrote it when I was trying to kill you. Why am I rooting for you to win? Tova, you are uh, <laughs> hanging on the podium of control. I would like to clamber, yes. if I can, if I may, you onto can this platform. Clamber, yes, oh, yeah. easily That's enough. You're on top. I'm on top. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, You're big. These controls are small, imp size. You've got gigantic hands. Okay. There's. Uh, is is there like a joystick? What languages do you speak? Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, common and dwarvish. Damn it. Uh, but okay. I imagine that like forward, backward, left, right. Yes, there's definitely directional uh, things. Um, some of the symbols on some of the controls you can't quite understand, but what are you trying to do? Wait, me getting on this platform, that was a movement? I'd just half your movement to lift yourself up there. Okay. Um, is there a joystick, joystick that looks like it's like, has simple directions that? To control? The platform. The platform. Uh, uh, do a intelligence check to see if you can discern which one mm -hmm. controls <laughs> the things. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh wait, that's not an advantage. Okay, no. Um, yeah, nine. Nine. Um, many like good points. Intelligence is not one of them. Sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, you can reach for something and maybe it'll work. All right, I'm gonna mash a button. Mash a button. Button mash. All right, I'm going to roll to see if this works. Um, let's do it on a D6. If it's four, five, six, it works. If it's one, two, three, it doesn't. Six. You, it works. Yeah, it is yes! the correct one. What works? Uh, you start moving the. Uh, oh fuck yeah! The uh, the platform. All right. I got a fun platform now. Um, Where are you gonna go, dude? I'm gonna put your less giant form up okay. there just so I can put something up there. <laughs> There's also a very scared imp right next to you. Oh, oh poor <laughs> little guy. Um, all right, so so uh, I am going, can I drive this, is that my action if I drive it? Uh, or is that already you my action? You your movement to get up there, you button mashed, let's say that's a bonus action, I don't know guys. And now your action will be to steer, sure. You get one, one round of steering. Okay, can I, can I actually use the button mash as my action? Uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna button mash as my action, presumably also including that that steers me away from the lava. And then I wanna use uh, the Blood Curse of Binding on Garion. So. <laughs> <laughs> you've climbed, you've mashed, you just picked a direction and I mashed. I just picked a direction. And Hopefully which direction did you pick? Towards Garion. Okay, so you, it, it oh, lurches forward. You're not good at controlling this thing. Yeah. So it probably overshoots just a little bit. You're there. You're probably 30 feet away from Garion, 30, 35, yep. 30 feet, I think, above Garion. And you're going to use your bonus action to bind him? Yes, I am. Okay. And I'm going to amplify. Yeah. No, I don't need to amplify. Well, you, you don't need to, but no. I think. Okay, so he has to roll a DC 11 to, to uh, uh, yes, strength check. Oh okay, God. let's see how strong he is. He's not very strong. Eight plus one is a nine. He does not succeed 
He is bound to you. All right, y'all. Uh, Set it, it up. What you not so I believe, Does that take some blood? Do you have to do? I that? do. I think so. I don't just. It's not just for amplification, right? Uh, no, you're right. It's just for amplification. So to do the the blood maledict curse. I don't think it does take any blood. I don't. It doesn't say that it does. Okay, so you have used your blood maledict curse. Um, Wait, how how long does the bind last if I don't amplify? Uh, I think uh, it's whatever it says there for both. It, it, amplify doesn't make it go longer. It just makes it you. It says amplify curse lasts for one minute. What does it say above that? It, it doesn't, doesn't say, say anything. Boy, right, we'll this is some street. complicated rules. Let's say it lasts for a minute. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Works for me. <laughs> Uh, okay, so Garion uh, feels around him, um, uh, his blood start to beat, t- uh, his heart start to beat twice as fast as his own blood is sort of working against him, freezing him in place. He can't move. It is now his turn, and he can't move. <laughs> <laughs> he can't use reactions. He can use actions, though. He just can't move. Um, all right, he's going to use his action to plead. <laughs> he, uh, he can't move, but uh, in his frozen uh, face, looks at you pleadingly and uh, says, B- please, please, I'm just a humble entertainer. I'm not meant for fighting like this. But this is the part of the story where we say, it's over, Garrington. And you know, in the cliche version, you'd go, it isn't over until I say it's over, rah, rah, rah. But it's over. For rating's sake, can you at least kill the floating one? (laughs) One kill, and I will send you all home, I promise. Would it make you happy? It would make the audience happy. It would make my ratings not tank. It might even save my job here. Oh, we're here to make you happy. Remember, you all need me to get home. That's true. So. I mean, I got some buttons up here. <laughs> don't know what they Ops do. Ops are still cooking, so I don't please, hear any of this. Please spare me. Do we really need you to get home? Uh, that, that's the end of his turn. He has, he has laid his offer on the line. If you kill Kashaw Vesh, you will be sent home. Oh, nice. Damn it. If we kill him, he doesn't get death saving throws, right? Uh, he's got two saving throws left, so if you hit him, uh, that would Oh, move. no, I meant Garion. Oh, he still has full hit points. You'd have to get him down to zero in order mm, to kill him. Kill but does he? Him. But if we kill him, then he can never do this again. That's and, true. And kill That's other true. creatures. That's so true. Revolution. Or you could just sacrifice me, who's already dead, basically. That's true. That's true. And then and kill go him. Home. Oh. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, man, I love this game. <laughs> it is Sprig's turn. Oh. <laughs> Look the children in the audience uh, are all, they all have their eyes glued to you uh, as a symbol of hope and positivity in their lives. <laughs> Kill him! Uh, as a mentor figure. <laughs> One of them has drawn a crude sprig drawing on the back of their poster board and is holding it up. Uh, it looks sort of like Mel Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> It's not 100% accurate, but it is adorable and it's smiling. Oh, what would you like to do with a cowering, frozen Gary and Garrington of the Garrington Corporation in front of you? If I kill this man, I lose. <laughs> there is a code. I know that sometimes people think honor is just air. And I used to think that. I can't think that now. Will you bring him back to life and release us? And we will release you. And then we give you and your audience an ending they didn't expect, a happy and hopeful ending. Garion can't look around for any support from anyone else. He's frozen in place. Mm. He just stares into your wise old eyes. <sighs> Thinks about it. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> 20, all right. Wow. Six. Let's see what he says. Six. I don't know how this works. <laughs> oh my god! 
Yes. <laughs> we skipped right to the third Hunger Games. Did you add your <laughs> oh persuasion? persuasion? Where where is that? It's in the long list there. Yeah. Right there. Oh plus. Plus zero. Plus zero! Plus zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's out of the wire here. It is. Oh. Roll again. All right. oh <laughs> I don't know how this works. We're going to just do it's it again. Right. Persuasion right. again. It's all right. If you want, I can use the smile the wand to make you happy six. while we wait. Seven. <laughs> I rolled a six! <laughs> In, uh, you, he, his eyes seem angry, but you notice a glint as a tear rolls down his face, uh, Garion uh, murmurs back to you with his frozen face, if you kill him, I will bring him immediately back to life. If you kill him. Oh my god. And give you the ending you wish. What assurances do I have? If I do that, I do something that will never be the same for me. You understand what you are forcing me to do and what I am forcing you to do. I'm forcing you to do something good and you're destroying me. I will give you a wish from the Fulcrum Paradox. You can use it to undo his death. I look at everyone. I have no weapons. I have spells. This is terrible. Ray of Frost. Ugh. Ray of Frost. I, it will instantly work, um, and I will say it will instantly <coughs> make him fail his death saves. Uh, Kashaw stiffens even more than before. <laughs> Uh, as blue frost slowly coats his legs, then his torso, then his face, freezing him in a somewhat angelic, upside down Jesus pose. <laughs> <laughs> um, hanging over the, the fiery lava, uh, his, his hair freezes and then drips because it's melting and then freezes <laughs> again and then drips again. The children are both horrified and also impressed some of them look away, but some look closer. It's a beautiful moment. Um, <laughs> the, um, the, uh, the audience falls to a hush, um, and, uh, and it is done. Kashaw is technically dead. The cameras all uh, circle around him in a slow, in a slow uh, 360. Um, some of the audience is now crying, as a matter of fact. Um, the children, for sure, but even some of the adults. What would you like to do next? You've killed me. I do nothing. Uh, Neela, it's your turn. The lair isn't going to go? Uh, no, the lair is frozen. Um, it, uh, it requires uh, some gadgetry up there in the control room to do, but the imp is too scared to go near it. <laughs> Don't okay. I got this. I got this. Let me just make sure I understand what's happening. You're dead. Yeah. You promised that Sprig would get the wish. Mm -hmm. So does it have to go back around to him? I would need to use my body to get, grant you my wish. But he's bound. Don't look at me. He's bound until she releases him. On my turn. And Sprig is sad. Yes. Oh boy. All right, I come out of, uh, I'm gonna wild ja uh, unwild shape. Hey, you're back. <laughs> yeah, I think we're out of combat at this point, so okay. anyone can do whatever they want to do. Um, so you mentioned that big red button. Is that where I am? Uh, you're talking about the fulcrum know. paradox. Yeah, is it where I am. Uh, it is. It is not there. Okay. Um, but you can inquire as to its whereabouts. Hey, imp! What do these buttons do? Oh, hey, these buttons control the the scryo uh, scryoscopes, uh, the communication system. Uh, uh, the, the, you know. Nerd shit. Nerd shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> The lighting. I'm gonna 
put a dramatic spotlight on Sprig. Okay. On this moment. All right. Uh, and uh, Garion, if I let you go, will you keep your promise? I have no choice. Yes, you have my word as a broadcaster. <laughs> <laughs> Before he, b- b- before Tova does that, are, are we? Do we have our turns in between? You can. There's no more turns. There's no more turns. Everyone yeah, can just do right. whatever you so want. So I'm just gonna walk right up to him, and be staring him in the eyes as, as as Tova releases him, and say no funny stuff, and just be watching him as this happens when you when you release okay. him. Roll for intimidation. Have you released? Yeah. Him? Okay. <sighs> he feels his body again. Thank you. This has been a very weird episode. <laughs> 19. Oh, he's very intimidated. He holds his hands up to show you, I mean no harm, and reaches into his breast pocket, pulling out a small clockwork box with a, a red button right in the middle of it. It's, it's got totally real looking gems around it and uh, golden filigree, it's a beautiful box. This is the Fulcrum Paradox. Sprig, you may state your wish and press the button to lock it in. Dangerous things, wishes. This is where it's led us. I would like to call the small child that believed in me, the first one, see if she could come forth. Right? Uh, Gary nods up to the imp, who gingerly moves aside you and touches some of the controls. A door raises on the side of the stadium, and a, a silent audience watches, rapt with attention, as a small girl represented here by this big man with a sword <laughs> walks in. Uh, looks back a couple times to check with her parents <laughs> to see if it's all right, and they say, go on, go on, it's all right. You can hear, uh, the, it's so silent that you can hear the clacking of her, of her little boots on the stone floor as she walks over to Sprig and looks up at, at you and says, Mr. Sprig, <laughs> you did real good today. Aww. Someday I want to grow up to be as small as you. <laughs> What's your name, child? Oh, my name, um, Chelsea. Uh, I, I, this is my first time coming to the games, and I was worried it was going to be real violent, but <laughs> it turns out it really wasn't at all. In fact, I'm going to tell all my friends at home to watch the next episode. Oh God help! Me. It's like, it's like a kids' show. <laughs> Will you be on again next time? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> a selfless act of kindness for a stranger. You take this. Keep it safe. This wi- it. this wish box? Yes. <laughs> this was just gonna be dead? You said you're going to bring him back to life, right? With with the, with the wish. Oh, with the wish. Yeah, I mean, he, didn't, he didn't specify. Fuck he that didn't guy. specify. That's what I, that's what I, he didn't specify. Oh, okay. Do I need to use it to bring him back? Uh, you can ask. Do I need to use this, the wish to bring him back? Or will you do that and give the wish to the next generation? <laughs> it's a very valuable box. <laughs> so is your life. I mean, We've never actually given it out before. <laughs> Most of the time, we we're legally we were required to have it, but we've never we actually just sort of bamf everyone back to their home dimensions before. We, we kind of, we, when someone wins, we give them this IOU. <laughs> I see. Uh, if I could take a moment, is your wig on the ground somewhere? It's for, yes. Uh, he might have been over the lava when that happened, but yeah, you, you can see it sort of over there. I'll put it on the child for a second. Oh my god! Have this, this IOU. So it's worthless, is it? No, no. The box actually works. We just try not to give it out. It's very valuable. I can bring your friend back without it. I, Please bring him back. I can undo the spell that brought you all here and it will return you to your 
your time and your dimension. Will we remember any of this? You'll feel a little bit logy for about a week. Um, your ankles might swell a little bit. Um, you might have a taste of almonds in your mouth for a few days, but otherwise, no, you won't remember any of this. That was oddly specific. I tried it once. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh. After my near wedding. When do we meet? When do we meet? Forgot most of it. When do we meet? When do we have our pitch meeting? You won't remember it. I'm afraid. I don't remember much. <laughs> All right, I, I wish to see him brought back to life. Uh, with this, <laughs> well, so the, the child is taking the wish? In a second. Okay. Um, with a wave of his hand, Garion uh, undoes the spell uh, that, uh, that brought you here, and you all, you all start to uh, disapparate very slowly. Your bodies, uh, it doesn't happen instantly, um, but your bodies all start to shimmer and grow slightly more translucent. You look down at your fingers and they've started to fade away. Can I, um, can I shout something before we go? Sure. Uh, just as we're going, I want to shout out to Fiera and be like, hey, thanks. I, I don't, I, I'm, I'm glad we didn't have to do that. And you were the one that made me reconsider, so thanks. Maybe we'll run across each other sometime in the real world. Perhaps. Don't kill me when you do. I'm supposed to not remember anything, we'll see. Don't follow any random urges you might get to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we all get to meet one day. Thank you, Sprig. Thank it you all. It was beautiful. Kasha wakes Kishaw. up, still floating over the fire, <laughs> dripping now in it's moisture. Over. I'm going to give the wish to a child. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Why am I hot and cold? <laughs> well, that's sort of everyone, isn't it? We all run hot and cold sometimes. Oh, for the love of God, can we go home now? You can indeed. Can all right, take this box and keep it safe and remember us. I will, Mr. Sprig. This was a fantastic show, and I, I'll never forget you. And you hear from the audience, the slow chant starts one more time. Sprig, 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 The imp from the control room looks down, making wild gestures at at Garion, who says, "Really?" And the 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 imp says, "Yes." The viewership is through the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> Gary, and with a, a, a new happy tear in his eye, says, "Thank you, thank you for saving this man's life and also my career as a broadcaster. You won't remember this happening, but I can give you this to keep oh! <laughs> as a symbol of your victory here." Yes, oh thank you. God. Well earned. It, and I put it on my head. <laughs> <laughs> As the cameras surround Gary and, and you all start to slowly disappear, he turns and raises his microphone to his mouth and says, well, that's it for tonight, folks. <laughs> what a show we had. We saw some amazing feats of athletics, some magic, some clever gameplay, but most important, I think we all learned a little bit about what it means to truly be a champion. On behalf of myself, the late Grotie, <laughs> <laughs> the late Schmorgisbot, <laughs> the Western Orphans Chorus, <laughs> little Chelsea, <laughs> and the Garrington Corporation. I'd like to thank you all for watching. This is Gary N. Garrington signing off saying, keep wonder in your hearts and plunder on your screens. Good night, everybody. And that's where we'll end yes! tonight's show. Yes! <laughs> yes!
You guys were amazing. I I did not plan uh, enough. <laughs> you that was great. Oh uh, my god! Seriously, that was so great, you guys. Uh, thank you all for playing and for hanging out with us for so long. Um, uh, thanks to the audience for watching. Thank you to the Kickstarter backers. Yes. Yay! All 88,887 of you for making the animated series a reality and for making this night possible and all the many rewards uh, that you made possible. I'm gonna go get out of this makeup. Um, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more stuff from Critical Role and, and thank you all for, for coming. Uh, thank you uh, uh, for being my friend and sticking through this and I appreciate you all. And that's it, good night. Yes. <laughs>